please click the thumbs up like and subscribe and the bell notification. Thank you. Please click the thumbs up like and subscribe and the bell notification. Thank you. And now, welcome to Raga Shanti Live with your host, Miss Cherwash Belly, Dr. Raga Shanti. Top of the morning to you, Jamaica. Top of the morning to you. Welcome to the show. The real Jamaican talk show with me, Mr. Jerry Washbelly, Ragashan, the blessings and respect. Want to say enough respect to the most high? Seeing the, the Almighty One, yeah? Blessings and respect to all our elderly, all our aged people out there. Enough respect, blessings, manners, and respect. Good morning. And of course, all of my God people, them, all of my people of faith. Seeing, irrespective of which movement you are from, whether you are Baha'i, whether you are Muslim, whether you are Rasta, whether you are Christian, whether you are whatever denomination, who wants enough respect to one and all out there, seeing? Blessings and respect to my country people, them every time, man, my girl is St. Mary and all left and out, all St. Mary crew every time. Anybody in the country here of them, just large up on yourself, man, yeah? I want enough respect to all of my get the fabulous people I'm out there. So Zane and this where we come from. And you know, we not forget where we come from. And thing and straight blessings and thing. Wanna see Oh, Reggie, something happened there just now. I lost in the I what? I lost uh, in this side of the headphone. It just go about it business. Okay. Takaya is working, is magic. Oh, that's much better right there. I don't know what happened. Sometimes you have to turn your rule and sprinkle a look of cream soda in here. You know? I saw a thing set up and thing. Yeah, man, who just wants to greet things and respect? No, I'm going to kick it off uh, with a couple of things. Uh, yo, I said yesterday, people, when the program done, me never know the program done. 12 o'clock, yeah, this is a first. This never happened before in already. 12 o'clock I me think at 11 o'clock. I what the time fly go? You know, enough of time you listen to them tell me say program when them before them know it, you know, the trio will run off quick and you know enough people upon them work, them say the time run quick. Where you go with the observer Stephanie? Eh? Yeah, it was at your eh? The three mo so that was your special observer. Yeah. Eh. When I start look for the observer, then we have Stephanie Mark. <laughs> And thing. But yeah, man, I tell you, people, the program run off so quick yesterday. I don't even know what a clock has tried. But I saw it set up, you know. You know, I did a thing yesterday and time just kicking for me. Well, as you are all aware, well, whoever listened to the program yesterday, you know, we have our topic. But um, a caller called in with an issue. And upon exploring that issue, the program took a little turn. But that's how things are here you know then this show it has a, a, a an organic element to it a life of its own it evolves you know in its own direction sometimes and you either go with it as a presenter as a manager of this process you let it go or you you hear that kind of time when the people them come with them look at parties and politics, politics thing here. Just hear me make them go about them business kind of when I drama with them. Come boring up with things. Not that we don't talk about politics, but you can't just tell where certain people are coming with sometime, you know. And them come a vex with me. Them can't walk and talk things about me, see. And thing. But I, I don't know why them do that in a regime. Because them claim same like one person claim say, me does a manipulate the program. I talk about things that are not uplifting. Yeah. So for them, politics, you know, it's only politics is uplifting, you know. And my thing is this. 
I love when people listen to the show. I want the family to get bigger. But it's not like them do have a choice. They have about 15 radio stations out there. Eh? Why them don't go listen to something else? Do you have other stations where people talk about them things? Why them come by and I take set? You know, I'm going to knock them with some simple little thing I ask them sometimes, you know. Me said to them, say like, um, don't Marty Perkins is talking about politics all the time. Yeah. I said, don't, you know, Harvey Taylor, Barbara Gloon, don't them talk about enough, enough of them something there. Yeah. Someone said, why are you torturing yourself and listening to this one then? Um, I just, you know, and then come up with some little weak and sound thing. I don't pay them no mind with him. But anyway, yeah, so we had this young lady who spoke up for our deal. Unfortunately, she was raped and she shared and she gave us some uh, profound insight, you know, into, you know, what is what went on with her, what went on in her mind and what continues to still go on. But I noticed that several of you, when you were speaking to me about it yesterday, I think there is a misunderstanding on the part of many of you. Because you interpret, many of you interpreted what she did as um, a sort of an attack on me and on other women. And I, and I would encourage you not to see it that way, right? It wasn't an attack. Yes, she did, you know, she started by saying, you know, that it was discussed. But if you recall, when the conversation I juggle and I go through, she reached a point where she did say, she specifically said, you know what, I don't want to impose my ideas on, you know, referring to Samantha. And if, again, you know, you'd have to be following the show to understand because Samantha was the one who mashed up the show one morning with beer vibes and joke about, um, you know, you know the way she flew more time around man and thing. And I want to remind people that this show, it has an entertainment component in it, to it. We, we want to have fun, but it has a kind of expose element to it where it's revealing. It brings to the fore. It makes open. A lot of little things were out there. We have a whole Jamaican deal with, but you won't necessarily hear it at discuss pan radio or discuss pan radio pan a regular, you understand? So that is, you know, a big element of the show. So when um you know Samantha run for your attack, we work with it, you understand? And what we have said, Samantha have a right to be comfortable with fear of sexuality. And for say, yo, she had a real plunger girl and, and she know what she mean. Without, without, without her being careless or idiotic or whatever, she have a right to do that, right? But then this caller now was just saying, what I want you to understand is, remember what she's saying. One, she was raped. But when she went to court, her rapist claimed that the reason why he raped her was that he was walking around seeing a lot of women dressing sexy and skimpily and whatever, and it turned him on. And then him reach a point where him see she. And they, in, a, in a theme mind, the opportunity was there to rape her. And he did so. And what she was saying is that she didn't buy his argument. But she said after a while, she had wonder. You know, she, she said there's probably some credibility and weight to it. Now, I disagree with it. But, I, but you have to understand where she had come from. Given that the rapist got said that. Now, again, as you hear me and I, we did kind of, you know, I gently argue a little bit and I say, no, but you can't do that. The rape is just a fine excuse. Uh, no, have you a blame other woman who might choose to dress skimply and whatever and so forth and things like that. So it's like in, because she go through the ordeal in other courts and thing, and because this was a primary factor that came up, you know, in terms of discussion and whatever, and she said, him nearly I'll get where with that little point that kind of court are almost lenient with him and thing. It just anytime she see them thing that it invoke those memories. And once you have memories of rape being invoked, you, you, you can't expect somebody who go through that trauma there. You, you, you have to understand how they might jump and I say, no, 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 for do that. Uh, I feel a way when women are do it and thing. And in fairness to her, I think after the conversation developed between us, she and I, that it reached a point where she was balanced. She was understanding of her other people and so forth and thing. 
So I don't want people to see what she did as, as an attack. It wasn't an attack. You have to understand what she got through. And can everybody deal with them things differently. And sadly, 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 me's a out of road youth, you know. See? And I can't really talk for wider Jamaica, but in terms of Kingston, yeah, me moon a circle of people where you, you know, we're going to hear what go down, you know, hear what really go down, boom, boom. So you hear things. I mean, I tell the people, I tell the street, the rape thing you kick off in our community, the most, the most, I don't know about uptown community. I don't mean, know if it's dead, if it's dead, it's dead, I don't know. But I tell them, say, right here so in Kingston, quite a few get to community, the rape thing gone up on another level. Right? And there's a direct connection between increasing rape perceived um, disenfranchising of men and the prevalence of guns and weapons. Yeah, that is just part of it. It's like the more gun out there, the more gun the man them have, the more them rape. It's like from a man have gun, him feels him powerful and true man want woman, him feels him can't take it, so him go take it. You understand? And, uh, and, and disturbingly also, I put it out there to Andrew Onis, Minister of Education, we are hear some things we are going to the schools them too. That depends on the increase too. Right? I tell the people now I don't talk. Our young girls are under siege in high school them. From the same school boy them. From man in the area them and so forth. Man who are run certain crew and whatever. In very organized way. They are back up the school girl them and all them something there and, and thing. Some of them school girls are them involved with them, yes? And so forth, but all kind of things out there. And the, and the question is, we're going to sit down and make it just go on, so we're going to do something about it. You know, I could just mix it up a little bit because we delicately, I, I don't know, because we have an issue of the week, which is, is it true that once you know when a person born, which month them born, you, know, you can't know things about them, we have that to deal with. But this 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 issue of rape has emerged and it kinda tricky if you deal with that and whatever, you know, given the seriousness of rape. And I thought about it and thing, but you know what? I'm gonna leave it to you, the callers, to steer the direction of the program. And wherever it goes with respect to these two topics, we will trend. However, we had um scheduled an interview with a professional astrologer. Shelley Ackerman, who we'll be talking today, right after her first break, and things. So that interview must go on. She's abroad and everything, and you know we did some work on it. Ruthie worked hard getting her and everything like that. So we have to go ahead with that interview without doubt. So we're gonna just jog and see how the week um, work out and thing. I'll play a quick tune, kind of warm the vibes. Yeah, yo, Reggie, you can imagine yourself. In love with somebody where you don't do anything for them. Just about, anything. just about anything. And when you say just about anything, what you really mean is like you do anything for them, but there, there's something you just nah do, right? Me and my friend them argue about this thing. And usually, usually I'm on the reverse, because you know, they're more macho than me. And me are the one who always say, no, a man must do this, a man. And then I cuss me and say, me, me read too much book at school and I shouldn't go foreign. <laughs> and I just give it to me. And say, woman, I go use you. And this and whatever. Because my, you know, my, not for my friend, them, you know, them talky talky, them gangsta up and thing. Yeah, and them real Jamaican man, them say, you know, I think. So I always say, but interestingly, in a discussion with them, I am the one who is saying, no, I'm not there with no, 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 if you interpret it literally now, what may I say to them? Say, you can't imagine certain things. Them say, yes, you can imagine certain things that them not do. But them say, you can be in love where you do absolutely anything. Even the most seemingly demeaning, dehumanizing, whatever. Me can't love so. Right? I tell people all the while, you know, this is a love as leave Sydney or whatever. And thing, and what, she has to jump alone, you know. I said, no, my girl, no jump, I'm not jump with you. you know? 
And then she insists on jumping because we're so much in love. I say, you go and jump in. I mean, make sure your funeral big. You get a good turnout and so forth. Come and not jump in. Then love thing and whatever. I mean, rate the rest of them. Don't fall in love. Stand in love. Right? And some of them argue about it. Have you ever loved somebody that make you ball and lay down and can't sleep? Me not tell the lie. When me did young, me did go through one of them love there. That never reached yet, Reggie. The one rude says nothing like that never happened to her. No, this is where me and my friend them different. Come here, can't open it. When you talk to them, no. Them never love and weak yet, no. Oh, no. Oh, now nah, I make that woman come girl me out and come girl me out and oh, you can't go and talk your foolishness. Boy, you're a counselor and I do that. And them can them can dab me up and think, you know. And you know them go through it, you know. And think, no. I say everybody go tell Ruthie a lie, she tell. A lie, she tell Ruthie. Ruth, you must go to love when you lay down on your bed and just look in at your ceiling. And Lizard are walking on your house and you're not know, appearing in the mind the way you're in love. Talking about Lizard, they might get bright from what they say, man. You have any problem with Lizard or your yard, Reggie? No, Lizard, I think Lizards, them forgot like the distinction between human beings and them, that they are reptiles. And there's a different species because them are move them go them go them work and then them come home at evening time like we and take up residence in your house and all them something there. And thing. Them, you know, night time them come round your bed. And all them. No, some man, some lizard them and I'm start giving it to them. And them not in night, you know. Then if them come in and them do them thing, you know, you don't matter. But sometimes them decide, say them want to sing them favorite tune at three o'clock in the morning in your house. You know. You hear the lizard them out there saying, I did it my way. And I told them, you know. Hey, up to last night, you know. I tell you about 334, me and a lizard there, you know. I'm a run all boat, I'm just a throw everything, I fling my bed, all kind of sitting, you know. And... <laughs> well, excuse me. It's what I go on in a new start night, the chief, but step on it easy. People step on it, come in with the observer, throw it down. I'm done with it, you can't have it now. I, I, well, I think we need to have like a group meeting or something, you know, because I'm detecting some tension. <laughs> I'm joking. Anyway, oh, quick, let's we'll do a quick can you believe it, Reggie? Quick, quick, can you believe it? Can you believe it? <laughs> Yeah, man, but can you believe it, this man? Yeah, we, we over in the last week. If you hear my voice sound funny, I look a bit worse, you know, but now watch nothing you're done, no, juggling, see me, you know, and thing. We do over in Las Vegas, you now up in the United States, in Nevada, Las Vegas, and what happened, you know? You have a brother, them, them, you know, them work on them big skyscraper, they one of them go drop off and dead. So they have the funeral for him, you see? And when they do them, they collect money and everything, you know, for him and um, all kind of something. So one man walk up there, and it's like him talking to him, I said, boy, like him, I said, I'm sorry, what the brother named him? Him named, the brother was dead, him named, him named David Rayburn. So it's like him go up and say, boy, David was a good friend of my one, and I really feel it, and all the ball, and, you know, I go on away and say, boy, I'm going to miss David, and he had a funeral, you know, he might talk up, you know, and people, you can't imagine people are mourning, the man drop and dead, and him picking on his wife, dead, and thing. I must say, like, I'm going to miss David, and, why is why him say why were the, you know see, I I come the man come there for thief the money with him call it the man thief the ten over ten thousand US dollar guy no that me I tell you say some people me don't know I go and cross the world you know you know if me a thief me couldn't have the guts to go in a funeral and just go ball in front of everybody so why me I tell you say me miss David you know and re 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 and then thief the people. Like, well, I can read it. A brazen thief who offered condolences at a memorial service made up with $10,000 collected for the family of an iron worker killed in a Las Vegas strip construction site mishap, friends and family members said. Las Vegas police were searching for the suspect after the Sunday night theft marred the service for 30-year-old David Rayburn. 
Officer Martin Wright described the man as a white male in his 30s who was approximately 5 feet 6 inches tall with blonde hair and blue eyes. He was wearing a red t-shirt, black jacket and blue jeans at the time. I hope the iron workers don't find him first, Ruth Brown, Rayburn's grandmother, told the Las Vegas Review Journal. She traveled to Las Vegas from New Orleans to attend the service. None of Rayburn's family knew the man, who went to a microphone and told mourners he didn't work with Rayburn often, but wanted to express his condolences. Sandra Alton, Rayburn's mother, told the paper, at some point, the man snatched a bag full of photos, cash, checks, a toy for Rayburn's four-year-old son, cards, and a Bible, and left the funeral home, Jesse Alton, Rayburn's sister, told the paper. He looked like an iron worker type of guy, a little rough, but not homeless, she said. Several mourners searched the area and recovered the bag with some of the items. The money estimated at $10,000 was gone, family members said. Rayburn, a member of Iron Workers Local 433, died Tuesday when he fell about 50 feet during a mishap while attaching a steel beam to an upper floor to an upper floor of the Cosmopolitan High Rise site. Boy, that brother there. In bull. No, that's at the heights of wickedness, you know. And the money was collected for the family in already. So, you know them little things, everybody rally around. I know them something there, you know. When you work with somebody and a person dead, you know. You all are take your last, you know. Money, you have to feed all your pit now. You all take that money there and you all give it because you say, boy, the family are going to feel it, lose the father and whatever and this and that. No, you tell me, no. Big up the broadcast commission because we're not supposed to incite violence because I'm fine. You tell me, no. If I don't catch this a boy, I know. And walk up some breed of chopper. You that sorry for him? Eh? You that sorry for him? I wouldn't sorry for him one bit. We're not encouraging any vigilante justice here in no way or anything. But me couldn't sorry for all of the boy who thief from the wife and the picnic them who left fatherless and husbandless and things like that. Uh, that, that's just beyond merciless, this sub. Why? The heights of wickedness. Anyway, that was. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Oh my God, do you believe that? Let me tell you something. All right, we're going to hold a little break, and when we come back, remember the phone lines are not going to be opening until around 10 o'clock today because we have an interview. We're going to talk to a lady about this thing, you know, where which month you're born, you can't tell things about them. Some of you know, Jamaicans believe it. Some of you know, I'm missing a horoscope and all the star and all them things there. I want to read an horoscope and I'll call on a man. You can't come over horoscopes, I'm enough to talk to you today. And all of them, there's something there. And them things there. Some of you know, there with no man who live at, who born in a this amount. Some of you know, man, nah, there with no woman who born in a this and that. So we're going to chat to somebody about this thing here. Yeah. We'll soon come back. Quick break. Welcome back to Ragashanti Live with your host, Miss Cherry Wash Belly, Dr. Ragashanti. Welcome back to the show, the real Jamaican talk show with me, Miss Cherry Wash Belly Ragashanti. Again, I want to remind you that the phone lines will be open around 10 o'clock because right now we're going to speak to Shelley Ackerman. And uh, Shelley is an astrologer, a writer, an entertainer, broadcaster, and columnist for the Westchester Guardian and beliefnet.com. However, um, just so you know, I'll tell you what our website is before we start, and uh, you can uh, check it out. I'll tell you again at the end if you want. It's www.karmicrelief.com, but that karmic relief is spelled K-A-R-M-I-C-R-E-L-I-E-F.com, and uh, she can be reached at 212-539-3100, and that's a New York number. Uh, good morning, Shelley. Good morning. How are you? I am doing fantabulous. Welcome to Ragashanti Live. I want to say thank you for taking time out from um, your busy schedule there to be with us down here in Jamaica. Thank you. Thank I would, you. I would imagine it's um, um, your busy schedule there to be with us down here in Jamaica. Thank you. Thank I would, you. I would imagine it's um, ridiculously cold up there, is it? Well, not so uh, 
ridiculous, but it's getting chilly, that's for sure. Have you had uh, your first um, dose of um, snow yet? I'm sorry? No, we had snow, not in New York, but in Connecticut. Oh, okay. Oh, you're in Connecticut right now. No, I was in New York. We had snow in New England, in Boston and in Connecticut, but it didn't quite get to New York. Right, right. I was in Boston over the weekend doing a, a lecture, and as I was leaving Sunday night, there was a nice, it looked, it was quite beautiful, actually. Not so easy to drive in, but it was very beautiful. Wonderful. So, uh, yeah, it is pretty. You don't get to know down there. It's, it's quite pretty. Well, I know what you're uh, talking about. I spent um, eight years in Connecticut studying at the University of Connecticut. So uh, oh, yeah, okay. I know how pretty it can get there. It Except that by the time you reach February, you're just tired of the snow, right? Oh, that's true, too. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, um, astrology. Um, many Jamaicans here, they, 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 they adhere strongly to the to the fundamentals of um, astrology, that the month you were born in um, has some deterministic um, dynamics relating to the personality that uh, the people emerge with. And, but right. there are others here that just, just think it's a waste of time and that it's you know, people just being unproductive and careless. Um, to begin with, could you just convince us that, you know, tell us what astrology is about first and foremost. Well, um, astrology is um it's i i even though i'm certainly um uh guilty of uh writing those horoscope columns mm -hmm. the truth is a chart an astrological chart is a very very individual thing and all you know although um um uh we have we newspapers uh force us to divide the entire population into 12 groups. The mm -hmm. truth is, if if we were being accurate here, we would do a um, uh, a horoscope for, you know, millions and millions and millions of, uh, of, uh, of, of people, you know, it's so such an individual thing. Uh, so astrology is very misunderstood because people think it's a 12 sign horoscope thing in a newspaper. In fact, it's very, very complicated, and it's not for most people because most people don't have the patience to deal with the intricacies and the layerings and the complications and the contradictions. And um, so, in a sense, the um, uh, the oversimplification of it. Right is a bad mis misrepresentation. And this it. very focused um, individual thing about it is that it's not just what month you were born in, but the day you were born in is significant and the time you were born and so forth. Date, time, and place. Could, yeah, could you Date. tell us some, a, little bit more, a little bit more about that? Well, the planets keep moving, and um, uh, uh, you know, it in the five minutes we've been on the phone, mm -hmm. the ascendant has changed a mm -hmm. degree. You know, we're talking about 360 degrees, mm -hmm. and the relationships of the planets to the ascendant in the midheaven have changed, and by the time we hang up, they will change even more. So you have to have both a very, very um, mathematical uh, mind and... Um, uh, and and be willing to, uh, you know, constantly weigh and measure the little bits of differences that um, uh, that keep happening. So it's complex. Okay. So astrology is based on the 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 the, the time of those factors in collaboration with the movements of the planets. Right. Uh, the movement of the planets and the relationship to the point on planet Earth that you live on, the place. So, if, uh, so there would be a different situation if you were born in Iceland, New York, uh, London, uh, uh, Jordan, or Jamaica. It, it's all different. Uh, depending on where on this planet you're born. I see, I see. But tell okay, me, Shelley, but tell me, Shelley, if if it is based based on the movement of the planets, and based and the movement of the Earth, the movement of the Earth, okay, in relation yeah. to the planets, right? 
Yes, and, the, and, the, and everything's moving. Right. But, so this is what we have to constantly consider, that things are in, in motion. But and, tell me something. Uh, if, if, if we know of some planets, right, and yes. we, when we were going to school, they told us that there are nine planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, right. Mars, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. But then recently right. we've seen where astronomers have identified additional planets. Given Correct. that people were making predictions before, just based on the planets we were able to see in our galaxy, and given right. that there are many, many more planets out there that we don't know of, Absolutely. how can people definitively say that I can say this about you, predict this about you, just because based on only the planets they know, given that there are other planets out there that they don't know about? Well, first of all, as any, with any science or with any um, uh, system, there is always going to be, the system grows just like medicine grows. Medicine is different today than what it was 30 years ago or 300 years ago. Uh -huh. So as systems, uh, as there are new discoveries, and new data to include in, in the way you do things, um, you observe what happens with this data, and then you begin to, over time, uh, include this new data into your interpretation. No one says, no good astrologer says anything about definitively. A good astrologer uh, or a good counselor is a very, very humble person. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, you you always have to allow for uh, there being um, free will um, in uh, uh, to consider. You always have to empower uh, or think in terms of empowering the individual with giving them choices, as opposed to saying this is going to happen to you and you have nothing to do with it. I mean, no good astrologer will do anything like that. Okay. okay. No, no good astrologer will do anything okay. like that. Okay, Shelley, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we would like you to share with us in what way has astrology been been helpful to some people? Like if you have examples of ways in which astrology has been um, remarkably helpful to some people. So we'll take a break, and when we come back, we we'll, we'll, like, we'll ask you to address that question for us, okay? Mm -hmm. Coming right back. soon. Yeah, man, welcome back to the Real Jamaican Talk Show with me, Mr. Jerry Washbelly. And you don't know, sir, the issue for the week is, is it true that, um, you know, once you know the month where a person born, you can know things about them. And we have the good fortunes of having with us here uh, an astrologer, a person who deals with uh, these matter. And we're talking about none other than Shelly Ackerman, who is speaking us to speaking to us here all the way from the south um, northeast United States of America, and we go back to our interview with her. Yes, Shelly, uh, could you just give us some examples um, in, in in ways in which um, astrology has been very helpful to people, and be as specific as you can. Well, some of the ways are very very subtle and powerful, and you can't really you know point to an event and say, oh, well, here's how that made. Uh, a big difference. But I could tell you a wonderful um, anecdotal uh, story uh, of, of a very, very practical nature. Several years ago, um, somebody bought me as a gift for their daughter or sister or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I saw something in her chart. I did a telephone consultation. They weren't in New York. Um, I did a telephone consultation where... In, when I, in, during the reading, um, I saw that uh, there was, she needed, this woman needed to be very, very, very careful uh, driving, that there was a, a window of about a week or so that she was um, vulnerable to an accident, a transportation accident. So I said, look, I'm not telling you this to frighten you. I'm just telling you this to be careful. I know I would really strongly recommend that when you're driving, you do not talk on the telephone. You have a seatbelt on, and you are hyper vigilant um, during you know this particular time. Look, that's good advice anytime. But right, right. I said that in in this particular window of time, it is crucial that you just not you know uh, be unconscious or you know distracted. 
So I don't remember the readings that I give people. I'd go out of my mind if I retained all of it. But I did get a uh, communication from this person soon after the time that we were talking about, and she said, uh, you saved my life. And I said, oh. And she said, yes. Um, uh, During that week, I was driving, and I was less than half a mile from my home, and all of a sudden, a big, big, you know, multi-wheel, gigantic truck, um, you know, with wheels as big as, you know, taller than a person, uh, one of the wheels came loose and went right in front of my car, and had I not had all of my wits about me and been able to uh, make a quick turn or adjustment, uh, I would not be here to tell the tale. So that's one example. Mm -hmm. And it actually ended up saving her as opposed to saying, you have no choice here, you know, you're going to be in an accident. And you know for a fact that you would, while you you didn't see it, you know, specifically and, you know, to tell her which road and whatever, what you're saying is that... I'm not that good. I'm not that good. You're not that good, but but you're convinced that you did see that that there's a possibility that something, um, you know, unpleasant could have occurred in a traffic accident. Well, not only am I convinced, she has the tape to prove it. I mean, you know, I do remember that part of the conversation. I mean... So, yeah, yeah, that that did happen. Uh, No, I couldn't tell you the road or the exact time. I'm not that great. So as far as you're concerned, astrology can, in fact, predict. You could see trends and tendencies. And, and, um, yes, and as a matter of fact, at one time, astrology was used to help diagnose medical problems. And it should be used again today. You you think astrology should be used to help diagnose medical problems? Absolutely. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, I think it was Hippocrates who said any man that doesn't use astrology ought to call himself a fool instead of a doctor. Um, yeah, <laughs> but, because you see, you see areas that are sensitive and that are being um, uh, that are likely to be uh, vulnerable at, at different times. Absolutely, yeah. You also see areas of strength in a person. Right. Okay, could you tell us um, some of the more well-known people who have depended on astrology in their day-to-day activities and in their decision-making? Well, a lot of people, I mean, some of them want to be named, some of them don't. But I don't know about dependence. I would say that uh, people use it. Um, It's, you know, there's a lot of big business people, J.P. Morgan, uh, in the early part, of the century, the latter part of uh, the 1800s, uh, used it, as far as I know. I, I believe that... In Is it true that Nancy Reagan and Ronald Reagan used it? Uh, I, Nancy did, yeah. Nancy did, absolutely. Um, uh, Rupert Murdoch, I hear, uh, consults with astrologers. Um, I, I think that it's a very common thing. I mean, I have academics and doctors and people who are quite bright coming to me. Um, And I'm always humbled by it. And we do the very best we can. It's a great thing. It's a very empowering thing. Uh, have Uh, um, Have people been increasingly accepting it now? I think with the Internet, because so many people have access to not only astrologers but astrological information, I think that, um, yes, I think the answer is yes. I think that because uh, there are now uh, some academics whose textbooks are used in colleges and universities, I'm speaking specifically of Richard M. Tarnas, T-A-R-N-A-S, who wrote a book, uh, well, his first book, The Passion of the Western Mind, is a, a, a book used uh, as a textbook. His next book, which came out in 2006, uh, Cosmos and Psyche, um, makes an argument, an academic argument for astrology, and he is now being asked to speak uh, at many acclaimed universities um, uh, uh, and he single-handedly could be shifting the way academia uh, revisits astrology. So, yes, 
Okay. I mean, the answer to your question is absolutely. Right. Shelly, many Jamaicans, um, they they pay attention to the month in which the person was born and also yes. the sign, the, the, the regular zodiac sign. And um, yes. based on the month in particular, many Jamaicans, they make decisions, um, important decisions on this. You know, if a person is born in a certain month, they said, oh, I'm not getting a relationship with, you know, a July man or a July woman and so forth. I think, what do you think about that? I discourage that kind of thing. Why? Um, but uh, this is what you do. This is what you... This is No, your... but I never do it just... Uh, for example, doctor, when is your birthday? Uh, September... Or when is the month? No, September 6th. I have no problem telling you. Then. Okay, so you're Virgo. Yeah. I would never say to you, well, doctor, you should stay away from all Aries and Gemini and Sagittarian. I mean, I wouldn't do that. That's crazy. Because you can't base a, a, a suggestion like that just simply on the sun sign. Again, you must look at the complete charts of the individuals, both individuals in question, and you will see where um, uh, they relate, you know? Okay. And again, what are the elements that make up the complete chart? Well, you have, the, you need the... Um, um, the date, time, and place, but you want to see where all of the planets are, the Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, uh, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. You want to see the ascendant, the descendant, um, the um, uh, midheaven. I mean, all of these things uh, are very, very uh, important in chart, what we call chart comparison. Okay. And, and this could help you, too, in choosing the, the ideal mate for you, too? Well, it, I wouldn't say choosing, but what I would say is um, um, understanding the components involved and, you know, what the issues are between you and another person, you know? I see. and Yeah, and then by understanding that, you'll be um, better yeah, equipped make to make a, a decision. Choice. I you know, see. I never say anything unequivocally. I always ask questions. I look at the, you know, information and I say, you know, I put it in the form of a question because I can't assume, as uh, wonderful as I am, ho, 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 I can't assume that I know for sure exactly how this is playing out in this particular um situation. I see. Oh, Shelley, wish we had some more time um, to get deeper into this, but um, I'm sure the information you shared with us today is uh, quite beneficial to some people out there with respect to their intention to evolve a better understanding of astrology and the uh, allegations of, um, you know, you know, zodiac determinism and so forth. Again, I want to say thank you so much. Oh, and thank you. Always a pleasure to speak with you, Doctor. All right. And you take care up there now. Don't let that cold get to you too much now, right? <laughs> Okay. All right, and wonderful. Thank you so much. You're most welcome. Again, that was Shelly Ackerman, and in case you want to check out her stuff, she's at um, www.karmicrelief.com. Born a year, two me attack to you for a night, you hear me at one. That's how it is, you know. We Jamaicans, we're bilingual. We can code switch and adapt, you know, spontaneously. Isn't that correct, Stephanie? That's correct. What do you think about this sign thing? You think the, per the month a person born um, is in some way deterministic of their personality? No, I don't think so. Is there any particular month a man might be born that you may avoid? No. Have you ever observed any pattern? No, well, not in terms of the month. Men are just disgusting generally, irrespective of whichever month they're born. Stephanie, we need to talk. We need. We, there's some. There's some anger issues that we have to address. <laughs> Listen, people, let's go out while I straight. Cause Stephanie, I got bongs to do is about all right. I know. Quick break. We'll soon come. <laughs> Hey, 
Yeah, hey, man. Welcome back up in our same thing. The real Jamaican talk show with me, Mr. Cherry Wash Belly Raga Shanti. Blessings and respect. Jack of your I don't know the issue for the week is is it true that if you know which month a person born, you can know all kind of things about them? Anything goes off a true? Why so many Jamaicans believe that that is so? And if you know anything about any month, about anybody, call and tell me. But don't tell about no one person you know about <laughs> in a month. If you know more than one person who born in a month and a display the similar characteristics or the similar traits, just give you a shout and make you know what and what are going on. Here we go, phone lines. Good morning. Hello, good morning, Raga. Good morning. How are you? Why am I there? I got you. Okay, let me talk about it. I knew some of the months, right? Yeah. It's an interaction with both male and female. Yeah. All right. Let me start with January now. The, the males, them. Yeah. Number one, them talk to you. Them ever out of money. Who, them who ever this? Out of, the January, Capricorn. Yeah. Them ever out of money. Them talk to you. And them always out of work. The That's only thing. Well, uh, January man, them talkative, yes. Yes, always broke, uh, always out of work. Out of work. Yeah, the woman them hard working. Well, uh, yeah. oh, you know this. You know, you know more than one man. Who, January man who stays, sir. Yeah, but um, we not like about three or four. That but, no. but three or four January man, you know yes, them, yes, them yes, chat yes. enough and them what? and them always broke. Always broke, raga. Right? One man, woman for mind them. January man love when woman mind them. Yes, true. <laughs> So January, you yeah, hear yeah. January man out there on the love when woman mind on. Talk out the things, yeah, baby. Talk out the things, them. All right, the January woman, them know them hard working and they're ambitious, man. I lie, you know, them kind. All right, the February woman, them know. Um, uh, uh-huh. <laughs> so, what is a January one. woman, them better than January man, them then, right? Yeah, man. Okay, and and which month you born? Straight February. February, okay. Yeah. Mm. February, them know, them lie, them honest, them honest, them hard working. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You just said them lie and them honest. Me say liar. Oh, liar. Me think you said them lie and them honest. Because I said, no, that one there mix up my head. So you said February people loyal and honest. And kind. And, and kind. You know, and faithful. And faithful. You see, so February people not get born. February come, people uh, not get born. Huh? February people not get born. No. Them, them straight faithful. But tell me something now. You yeah. talk about your month and I be a nice thing you talk about with your month. <laughs> so I'm not going on the way. I'm going on the 12 months, you know. No, but what are they now? What are the bad things with February people? You know? All right. Them eat them. Um, when they're confidence abuse, like if you put a um, trust in somebody and they abuse it, uh-huh. they become real um, generous, you know. <laughs> they become real what? Generous. If you put them trusting as if the February people put them trusting as somebody yeah, and a person, I'm um, like you know, I mean, cruel or something like oh, that. Oh, then we get wicked. Then you talk about the thing that y- y'all y'all get uncomfortable for say some some rough things about February people, eh? Oh, Why is that? Only bad thing. Okay, I, that's the only bad thing about February people. Yeah, straight. <laughs> Everything good. <laughs> yeah, general man. Yeah, right, general up the thing. No, hear me now. The month. Well, I, you know, I got time for go through every month. But which yeah. month I best? Which, uh, which month man them I best month? As far as you. Can. Them, all yeah. right, October man them them kind. Of. Uh-huh. Them them get anything you know. They not for really um. You not know them too much. Uh-huh. For them, I mean, give them things and. Uh, I mean, September man, them, them clean and all right. Can I, me not marry the um, September man or October man or, um, oh, she wants again, or August man. You That's would, the only you would marry a September man, a September yeah. man or a yeah, October yeah. man? Yeah, it all, it all depends on you have to rule in the month. Oh, you can't, you can't come from the lower part of September, right? No? Yeah. And which part, and you can't come from the lower part of October either, right? Yeah. Them kind man. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let me tell you with you. Two more issues, Raga. Me do it fast. Yeah. All right. With the rape thing, right? Uh, with the what? With the rape thing. With yeah. The issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, from early childhood, it's like um, my target to be in a rape, right? From um, um, from brother straight to father. You understand? In which? No, no. I'm sorry. Could you just say that father. again? I'm not sure what you just said. All right, I'm saying that I'm like being a target of being raped, okay? You've been a target? W- yeah. Were you a victim? Yeah, exactly. Okay, all right then. From, are, are you um, saying from who? From brother to father, because I was younger, I was living with grandparents and so forth. Okay. 
I'm, just, I'm sorry, but you're saying that you were raped by your brother and your father? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. mm? But yeah. on two different occasions, because, all right, when when I was in the country and was living with my grandmother at that time, I, I tell her about it now. But I was six years old, right, seven. And I said to her, I tell her about it. She said, I'm not going to tell the people, my family, because of disgrace and disgrace to carry the family and one bag of something. So anyway, I left it. In the ball, when I'm 14 now, when the, when I'm sorry, are you saying that you were raped at around six or seven years old? Yeah, at that time. Anyway, mm. when, but when I was 14 now in the summer, I was 14 years old, but in the summer, um, my father came to look for me. So I was like disclosing everything to him. Telling Your him father, father, right? Said, Your father, right? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. the, um, the man that they told me is my father. So like I disclosed the team telling that my brother was was my brother was trying to do to me. And you know what, Raga? For the next five days because I disclosed the team, um, I think it was Friday or something like that. And then it's on the evening, Raga. And the man I come to my boat, um, he wanted a virgin thing and then something there. Who and who I tell you that? My father wouldn't say I'm my real father. You understand? No, it's, you say it's not your real father, right? Yeah, they say I'm a father, but we can't believe after what I'm in you know, I'm my father. It must be. You know, because one time uh, sorry, me, sorry, don't I want just help me because but you attack a little bit fast, sometimes I'm not picking up what you're saying. Oh, oh you oh. say at the summer when you were fourteen years old mm -hmm. you were talking to who? Oh, the same father was saying to him, um then um because I'm like you know, sometimes a the child after I have some features for the father, right? The the um this Despite anything, you have to have some features. So right. I'm like browner than him. Right. I mean, more complexion and everything. Right. So dark. Right. So probably I'm saying it probably can be the mother or the, mm -hmm. um, the grandparents or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's like saying that my, 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 why I'm browner like that is because my mother eat too much mango and eat too much car meal. That's why I become brown like that. Who tell you so? <laughs> Your father tell you so because the reason why you brown at your mango eat too much mango and, and car meal? Yeah. You understand me? You understand me? Uh -huh. So, Mr. Arden, then my mother, Mr. Arden, still, you know, father and daughter still do it so wrong with that. So, I say that. He might tell you, say, father and daughter still do it so nothing wrong with that. Yeah, that's what I'm mean, 14, so no, but I still have my senses, no matter what. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, me and one night, me and my grandmother, there's a female there, you know, mm -hmm. Raga, they're in the bed, you know, the man come over for me, you know, Raga, I scream out, you know. Let's well, you're in the bed with your grandmother? That's a yeah, female mother. Fee mother, the tree are you in my bed? No, I did in the toy and sleep, so I'm in the out in the living room, I watch TV. Uh -huh. And I'm on one o'clock in the night now. Uh -huh. I think, tell my grandmother, all you know, she used to fall asleep uh -huh. and everything. So, me alone in the bed, but I never really don't sleep in a rug. You alone? Me, so, your, well, your grandmother never in the bed with you? In no, I'm not respecting. Hmm? No, your grandmother never in the bed with you? Yeah, me and see because I mean I use my bed time come from town yeah. to come um spend few days in other for the um in the summer. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it's like me and my grandmother sleep. Now we go to bed early cause you know, not more we're not watching more T V so uh we go to church next morning for Sunday, so it's yeah. on Saturday night now. Mm -hmm. I went up on the bed in her room, and then I tell her to them, come over for me and I'm gonna scream out, you know. And my grandmother said, that's not like she, like she up to it. My love her still, you know. But, you know, them something they take her from me. After I tell her and she could have do something about it, the man really could do it. I mean, in her wicked, he said, I'm not even remember about that. That's how I want to it, man, show you. Oh, man, 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 we're not pushed, but are you actually saying that something happened right there? No, not there. I scream out and tell her, and she said, I'm not to tell nobody. Because her husband could have done something if me to tell her. She said, No, I'm not to tell nobody. And oh. eventually, about like two weeks after, he did the real action of it. You understand? In the worst way, when she got a doctor. And, me no one got it back. But I'm going to show you something. Like okay, that. and that time you were still 14? Yeah, yeah, at okay. that time. And, and so. was it that he forced you at that time? If I tell I can tell nobody I'm going to tone for me and kill me and them something. Oh, okay. And I never have nobody because my mother will leave me. Um, give me to my grandmother when I'm a baby. So I never really have nobody to talk. So I never grew up with a sibling. So I'm going to be brother alone. Oh. You understand? Uh -huh. So anyway, I go, go and my go to rip unit. And you know what I'm talking about? Them uncles tell me, they might give me something for wash me out. And over Spanish stone. And then they suddenly give me two pills and that's it. And from there, so, I don't say, if me even get rid of it, I'm only disclosed. I tell nobody because all I do, I look, it's just embarrassing to walk on the road. 
at that time. Okay, but what you said, the rape unit, they just gave you two pills to wash you? Yeah. But the, what, what I'm saying, what you told them who did it, right? Yeah, um, oh, I went to the police station and they, they, some of their company to the police station and they said that I must go to the rape unit uh-huh. because they didn't have no car to carry me. So, okay, um, okay. I took um, somebody carry me there and this but the, but the, but nobody at the rape unit made any attempt to investigate and uh, arrest. Anything. No, listen, 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 that thing is saying, my woman said everything will be all right. Them say what? They said, my woman said everything will be all right. You understand? But them never, them, hold on, the, this is the rape unit from the, exactly for the, right, ju- right. from the what police. I'm, saying, I'm not lying. No, no, I'm not saying you're lying. It, it, oh. it just, it's just astounding, you know, what you're saying. That them never make no attempt to investigate the thing or arrest anybody. No, I mean, this one. I went to the police station and they sent me to um to the rape unit. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So after they sent me to the rape unit, now um I, they say that um they, they talk about it and I tell them everything and then they give me two pasta near pill and say everything all right now. They wash me out and that's it. That's it. Believe Unbelievable. Me. And that was that's a scar from 14 to now and really and truly. Uh, 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 sometimes I give up on life, sometimes I don't, you understand? Uh-huh. But honestly, he, he died. He died um, summer this year. He died the summer of this year? That's yeah. your father, No, right? not summer. Somewhere this year. Okay, okay. I don't want to be recognized. Oh, no, oh, no, no, I totally understand that. Too. Yeah. But how are you now? I mean, um, oh, okay, how has this impacted? Uh, how, how it affect you, you know? What, what go on with you know? You still see some specific no, ways no, in no, which... I look a man different, believe me. You look a man different. Ho, ho, ho. Um, there is number one. They cannot sexually um, involve with me. Okay, okay. All right. You see, if I'm sexually involved, like, for instance, if I talk to a guy, right? Um, yeah. You know, things about financial, although I do my degree in a course right now. Right. But so most times, they don't want sex kind of guy and I give money without, without something. Right. So I don't probably put in, like, ketchup on it, something, but you know, Female use monthly. Right, right. And um, say so that I go on or put gel, you know, ear gel and put it on his tissue and say I have infection and then something there. That's what I'm doing. I'm not involved in sexual. I'm afraid of men. If I lie down, every time I lie down, I don't remember it, you know, because it really affects me right now. You know, so okay. that's how life is. And the fact is, they could have done something. My grandmother could have reported it, but she, did, she didn't do anything, so. She was they more con- she was more concerned about she and man thing that will probably come more than protecting you, right? Yeah. I know probably she cause she was old and so forth. But she could have done something, you know. This would not have left me being scarred for my rest of my life and think man differently. Okay. So just like, You have any plans to um, pursue any any future no, avenues to help? No. Right now I'm doing my bachelor's degree in ready for nurse. In, in what? In registered nurse. Registered nurse. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then from there, probably I migrate because, you know, come like, if maybe here, maybe I'm mad. <laughs> I've been thinking about it because I didn't go to counseling, I didn't do anything. But I'm trying to get over it. But, but right now, given that this thing is you know, affect you in such a, a profound way, do, do, you, do you think that for the most part you will be okay? Yeah, I'm trying to be, even if I'm not, you know, it's okay. life, you know. I don't go around telling people, though, because I guess they will abuse the situation. Right, if they know, yeah. right, and them know. So I like, so I keep it to myself and think about it and try not to put myself in a situation like that again, okay. even though it was my own, according to them, so-called father. But that's how I grew up knowing as my father, you know, okay. and to see that he... But okay. he died still, and you know, I should have probably. I should, you know, I wonder if I should have forgiven him before he died. You know, I get a chance, so he died of lung cancer. Okay. Yeah. No, you don't worry yourself too much about what you should have done or anything like that. You have no. Your responsibility was just to be yeah. a child, you know, you know all as I mean, best I you can. So you don't you don't feel any guilt whatsoever about whether you should have forgiven him or not. Don't burden yeah. yourself with that. Yeah. The only thing that worries me right now is to get a profession and live my life. That's all. Right. Yeah. So you just work by your little registered nurse thing and you go yeah. through. All right, we rate you for that, here. Yeah? And you just go through, see me, and you just stay as strong as best as you can, all right? All right.
take uh, care. Yeah, man. And Raga, it's just me. Is it the show? Yeah. I mean, I'm not lying. It, if I'm not listen to you, I'm not, I'm not be right show the day. Believe me. Because I'm not going to school still. Mm-hmm. But, and it really hurts because I'm going to go to school in the morning. I'm going to get to listen to you. But no, you I'm make sure you go to school. school. You know, you do go to school and listen to the show, all right? <laughs> no, my Raga, I'm not lying. I'm not listening to you. I'm not listening to you. No, I'm but make sure you go to school. That. Believe me, I'm talking serious, you know, I don't laugh. Me, no, 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 I know you're serious. That's why I'm telling you that school is priority over the show. I know, <laughs> yeah. I know that, but if I go if me to school, I really am happy and happy. Believe me, I got. No. You have me in my day every day. Sometimes I'm listening. All and right. every time I can listen to it, okay? But me know, but make somebody tape it or something and you go to school and you listen to it, all right? <laughs> all right. All right, you take care, yeah? All right, right. Blessings. Um, people, we're going to hold a break. Um, we'll soon come back. News Talk 93 FM. Heard everywhere. Do something special this holiday for a friend or family with the Jamaica Observer Court's Christmas Dream Home Makeover. Surprise them with a fix up. Some new furniture, curtains, fresh paint. Make it happen with the Jamaica Observer Court's Christmas Dream Home Makeover. See the Observer for details. Supported by Sherwin Williams and Pink's Fabrics. The Jamaica Observer. Every day matters. The following is paid for by the People's National Party. Every day, food price, I go home. We can hardly buy nothing to eat. Sugar, rice, bread, flour, I go up by the hour. Not to mention food, kind of meat. Light bill, water bill, phone bill, cooking gas, kerosene gas price. Take off like a kite when the people say to government, we look. Them just smile and say, there is nothing we On can December do. On December 5th, vote PNP. The proceeding was paid for by the People's National Party. So you are too busy to pay attention to all the happenings of the past week? Well, tune in on Sunday mornings, 9 o'clock until 11 o'clock for a review of the outstanding issues of the week locally and internationally. Hair cutting edge social commentary and information all rolled into one, as well as interviews with the newsmakers on the issues that matter. Want to express your opinion too? Well, the telephone lines will be opened. Join the experienced and knowledgeable team of Lloyd Diagula and Cecil Gutsmore for the program that's both looking back and and looking forward. Welcome back to Ragashant Live with your host, Miss Cherry Wash Belly, Dr. Ragashant. Yeah, man, welcome back up in our same thing, the real Jamaican talk show with me, Miss Cherry Wash Belly, Ragashant. Boy, I tell you, you know, a whole lot of things are going on in the country where. You know, we just need for bus out and put out the certain way. I tell you, so the woman, I'm meet it. I could read, I, 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 we could try to go through the email them one at a time, no? Con man of the year, that email, I said, Hi, Raga and Ruth. Well, my message is a little long, but never mind. My cousin went to America for a short vacation and met a young lady. He came back to Jamaica, and then the girl said she would come to Jamaica after, and then they would get married. Well, Raga... My cousin made arrangement for he and his friend to pick up the girl at the airport. The friend called the girl in the USA and he made the final arrangement for her arrival. The friend changed the time and place from Kingston to Montego Bay and from 6 p.m. landing time to 1 p.m. My cousin tried calling him on the day as to where to meet him to go and pick up the, the girl only to be told that he's on his way to Mobe because the girl will be landing there. Raga, my cousin had made all the plans, including renting a car and hotel. Now the girl is in Jamaica, and she is with my cousin's friend. My cousin has not seen or heard from the girl. I cannot even laugh at the situation as the, quote, driver friend is now in control, end quote. The driver friend has moved from where he was living and has turned off his cell phone. I cannot believe the driver friend and the girl are now full speed ahead in a relationship. But time... No. Reggie don't want the bad like trouble. You, you understand what's going on there, sir? It's like him go find a meet a girl, you know. And then and come back and the girl for come out come marry him. So him just call him friend and say, yo, you give me a ride, you know. We'll line up this thing and forgot to pick her up at the airport. And him have the information. And that one I just call the girl a friend and we don't know where him tell her. But switch it for she come in and mobby, you know. 
And then pick up. So when I call and say, yes, yeah, so when I go to the airport, he said, no, I'm going to be a come in my hand, my way for go pick her up, you know. And from him, go there, go pick her. Him don't hear nothing from the girl, nothing from the friend, self work. No, if something really go for true, that can be terrible. That can be terrible. Here we go, top of the morning to you. Hello. Hello, morning, Raga. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, look here now, August man. Yeah. You don't have nothing to do with him. You don't have nothing to do with August man. August Why, and make? July man, Raga, I don't have nothing to do with him. Why? You see, August and July man, yeah. Raga, they my sissy, they my mama man. <laughs> Where is it? August and July, but that's straight, mama, man. August, man, raga, if you are named there. Eh. Then take your left, then take back everything. Then, my mister, take it back. Yeah, me not like August, man. Raga, if me meet a man, eh. me think you can buy me a car and a house. Me no want it, because if me and him left, I'm going to take it back. What do you mean, August, man? August, man, and July, man. It's what him. It's only one July man and one August man he had this experience with. No man, it ain't plenty. I mean, no plenty go experience with my friend them. Uh huh. With the experience, I me have a brother born July. Uh huh. Raga, you not get woman more than two or three thousand. It, more than two or three thousand. Yeah. What you mean? In one market, in go a supermarket. Me tell about my brother. Uh, so. Well, it depends on how much he might get paid doing. He can do better, Raga. I just saw them steer. I just saw them steer. Yeah, Raga. <laughs> they're my sissy. They're my sissy. Yeah, oh, why, why you say they're my sissy? Mama, man. You don't know mama, man. Me know. Watch but, but wait, them love watch things. That's why they're yeah, my sissy. They watch things. They watch food. They watch everything. Raga, I did a talk to an August man, you know. Eh. And he's in a security guard and he work at night. Eh. So, you know, so when he come in the morning time, he look for breakfast. Some of the game first can work right three nights. Right, right, Raga, right. Raga, all this time, you know, say man, man I watch me. Yeah, man, to me one morning. You know, say a long time, me I watch her every morning. Me find, say, so you take your biggest egg. But... <laughs> <laughs> Raga, me not like them. <laughs> Raga, me not like them. Hold well, on, uh, so you said they were watching, watching? Yes. So are you sure it's August man and July man still, sir? Raga, I said I don't want no man to born July or August. So if you really meet a man right now and them born either say, July Raga, or August, you're not... Friend them, uh -huh. If them funny born August, uh -huh. I talk with, with me a whole heap of friends. Uh -huh. I'm a buy and sell some known whole heap of people. Yeah. So Raga, I tell you the same. All my friends, they don't have nothing to do with August and July, man. The, the, Several, more, just one hour, several hours. Like. Raga. Me have experience. So, what you say? As far as you can say, woman out there not like July, man, and August, no, man. No, eh, 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 eh. No. You sure about that? Me have tell about Because it, it must be some. Ma no, Raga. Uh -huh. Me have listened to this woman here talking, and she can't tell me nothing about month. Oh, the woman who talked this morning? Yeah, because Raga, me believe in it. You see, every day, Raga, uh -huh. when me buy a star, uh -huh. I look on the headline, and the next me I look on my star score. Your, your horoscope? My horoscope, yeah. Uh -huh. And every morning I go up on the internet go read it. Yeah, so you really believe in all this thing, yeah? Yeah, Raga, because guess what? Sometimes I don't go for you, you know. Uh -huh. But we go for other people, but you for watch it. So you can't win, say it work? Yeah, it work, yeah. It work. All right, Raga, you see? You see, April man, uh -huh. if, a man a look a, if a woman a look a man, uh -huh. April man, I best man, you can't take out. And lead them right around the world. No, one time a woman called, when we did that over, so a woman called and she said, If her dog have puppy in her April, she have got dash them racking. Like she she said, She don't have no nothing man. to do with April, man. Raga, you see, April, man, uh -huh. April, man, a good man. You sure about that? Yeah, you see, June, man, uh -huh. tell about the good man. Them. You see, April, man. Uh -huh. You say June, man. Uh -huh. You say September, man. Then jealous, you know. You uh -huh. you, they love you. Uh -huh. Then jealous, you know. But you say September, man. Yeah. September, man, we give you anything for they love you. September, man, then? Yes. How are you now? Jealous. <laughs> I tell you about them, But then jealous? Yeah, you see me, man. Uh -huh. I'm a liar. Brother, then. Then nice, you know, but then sneaking. They never do yet. The me, man, them. Yeah, then tell lie man. and them do them look at things quietly and so yeah, forth. February man, February man a nice man, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah man, February man, you can you can you, you, you can deal with them. But you sound like you know this thing, yeah, man. Me, me study them, Raga. <laughs> yeah. No, but them. big and serious. November man, uh -huh. Raga. Uh -huh. November man, me not too like them. Why, why, why? Me not too like them. Then come, then come like a them you call it can man. November and December man, I them I can man them, you know. Oh. Yeah. 
Okay. Them, at them, I can man them. Okay, okay. This April man, Raga, <laughs> trust me, Panda, to say if you get a man in band, April, a woman get a man in band, April, <laughs> June, and February, <laughs> a good man. You see, January woman, them Raga, I'm not too like them either now. The January, the woman now, the January yes. woman, them now, what about them? What wrong with the January? I like them. Raga, they love used people. January woman, used people? Yeah. Them never, every, t- every day them want, and they never have it yet. Oh, them a siren. Wah, wah, yes. wah, 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 wah. Yeah, January, the January woman them. Raga, they right. Raga, they not give it nothing and they lie. And the January woman them? Yeah, Raga. Mm. You see, April woman them. You, April woman they lie for two, two, you know. Eh. Me a April, you know. You're April? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Well, Andy, you are April and you own it up so April woman lie for yeah, two. Yeah, man. Okay, well, we respect that. Let me tell you how they tell lies. Let me tell lies to get themselves out of trouble. Okay. And forget that extra little money pan the side from the man. Lord, they know you are sweet it up. So, so in other words, the April woman never run a look at can now and none with a yeah, lie. Don't. April woman they can, you know. They are can, they are can, you know. <laughs> yeah, man, they must come at this. May I tell you, Raga? No, but then suppose on July, man, or August, man, at least, and say, eh, hey, that's why you're not gonna like me. I'm not business when I want to say, Raga, because I'm not look for them direction. I'm not going look for them direction, Raga. If you uh, meet a man, not kill nice. Uh, and funny, say, man, August, Raga, uh, me not have nothing to do with him. You're done with him, this, sir. Me not have nothing to do with him. But you say, if you say, man, September, uh-huh. if you're born, February, uh-huh. April, April and Femi, man. Me ban April and my ban ban April. Yeah. And then I say, man, where your name rule now? You see, man, sign, your name can't get a lie, but a lie. Can you, you see, April, man, no care pill big, then so light. No care the pill big. But, uh, but it's so light, that's why you like them, because they're no, easy man, for can. No, man, no, nice, man. Them. No, really no, but, but, it's, but it's no cure you say no cure, what kind of pill you give them, the most swallow it? Yeah, but a nice But it's so like you like the man, them where you can't can. can. It's when April man get mad, they mad, you know? Eh. Yeah. Yeah, but me I tell you, say April man, a nice man, June man, eh. February man. All right, then, I could hear what some other people say, yeah? All right, brother. Yeah, man, blessings and respect. <laughs> we will have a break, we'll soon come back. <laughs> Welcome back to Ragashanti Live with your host, Miss Cherry Wash Belly, Dr. Ragashanti. Yeah, hey man, welcome back up in our same thing, the real Jamaican talk show with me, Miss Cherry Wash Belly Ragashanti. Mr. Me, I read it just a while of reason. I mean, I'm not sure, sure, Reggie said. I don't know, no, no, you see the show, yeah? I don't know, no, great genius, I know, brilliant, I know, you know. I just way, you, if you grew up in a certain socioeconomic background, you're just exposed to them thing, yeah? And what, one of the things that I do is bring that voice to the radio, right? So we we'll make them people eh, get for them voice on the radio. And in so doing, we can be educated about the way Jamaicans flow, the principles they use to guide their thoughts, their feelings, and their behavior. Because them are sitting here, that's something we grew up with in a Reggie. Me, a woman, me, a woman, girl, I go out there, you know, and get a little boyfriend, and mother say, you now bring no July man come in here. No! I swear blind, and I know you not bring no July man come in here. Yeah. And think them a sing thing where we grew up with and thing. So we just want people to understand the fullness side to all them look a program yeah. Quick email, I shanty. I'm going to be good today. I'm not feeling so well. So is Sarika at the front desk? Which Sarika? Mm. You didn't have to be afraid to call Tony's name because I told you him is a little toddler and toddlers only. Nyaman will. When we told him you cursed him out on the program, he just smiled and said he was famous. Anyway, Rag, the gas done right in the middle of my mom's dinner yesterday. You see what I'm telling you? You see what I'm telling you? Big up my mommy, Sharon. Reggie, I'm not hoping you look as good as you sound. I accept you just as you are anyways. I need the picture to get better. <laughs> All right, Reggie. Wait, have you been um, interacting with this person? What do you mean, move on? What you talk about picture? Oh, she did ask you a picture. Come, Reggie, man. What, what go on here, Big up MJ and Brown, man. And service, where I listen. One more thing, Raga. I needed to explain to me the local government election. I don't understand who and what they're voting for. My apology for the lengthy email. Oh, the, yeah. Okay. We, 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 we tackle that one and a man in here, auntie. Okay, all right. Here we go. Top of the morning to you. Hello. 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 Yes, hello. Raga. Uh huh. You hear me? Yeah, man, we are here, your king. Say now. Why, well, I may I tell you, Raga, I'm convinced you know, say, I'm a people and know what they must say. Oh. 
about this month thing. Yeah, why why you say that? Because a month now have nothing to do with nobody. Because, right, for example, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. The lady a while ago asked about January people, this and January people, woman mean. Mm-hmm. My wife ruled in a January, she born the 29th of, de- of December, Raga. And Raga. Well, she ruled in a January, but she not born in January. No, but you know, know them, I go say, the sign, whatever, whatever. Uh-huh. Right. But you remember that Carla, she specifically said you can't, you, you can't born, it can't have to do with the, what she call it, the, you, you have to rule in the month. Right, so that may I say. Okay, yeah, so okay. My wife rule in a January. Oh, okay. I see what you are saying. I see what you are saying. The twenty nine. I got me a me a woman. I say January woman mean and different. Are you and different, your wife, right here now? Raga. Eh. Uh-huh. See, my wife is my wife of ten thousand dollar raga. Eh. Uh-huh. And she walk go down the road and ten smarty beggar thousand dollar. She give them thousand each. I saw she steal. I saw she steal. You have to argue with her every minute because she give her no money, don't. Raga. Raga. I now put my mouth on ground and talk this. My wife are the best woman girl ever from planet Earth, yeah? Uh-huh. Me can talk that loud, broad, far east, west, north, and south. You see uh-huh. me? Uh-huh. Yeah, and to the, but, and, and she come and talk about August, man, this. Uh-huh. August, man, are the sweetest thing ever walked and to m- put And might I ask you, what month were you born? Me born August, <laughs> man, you but the woman says she don't have nothing to do with August, because man. Because she's trying to you don't know why. Why? Because she meets one little bad one, you know? Uh-huh. I, I don't know sure if the month not have nothing to do with No, that. but she said all her friends them not have nothing to do with August and uh, July, man. She said... Raga, Raga, let me tell you something, man. Uh-huh. You see, you have some of them, you know, we're just bad luck if you meet. You know, a little one, you know? Uh-huh. I told them to meet like a me yet, man. Okay. Yeah, so, what you say, if she didn't meet you as an August man before your yeah, wife man. and things, she would not sing them tune. No, man, she'd have said the sweetest thing ever. Cool, no, man. Chop. Chop. You see what I say? Chop. But me personally believe the Raga, the month have nothing for the Nothing for the way it. Me just think the way you was brought up. All right. Has to do with it. You see me? All right. So, oh, what, what you think about them people that who firmly convinced these Jamaicans? You grew up on here, Jamaicans have said them things, have you? Of of course. So you hear them uh, all right. So you you think well on, well on, well on. You think it's a strong thing out there, this month thing with the Jamaican. You think it's a strong yeah, thing? About, about that one, Rogan. Okay. But let me tell you. Yeah. You see, one thing that I hear them say about my month, Raga. Yeah. I mean, just me are the total opposite. August man, love beat woman. But but you hear that before, don't it? Eh? You hear that before, right? Yeah. So August yeah. man, them fire sign people, they love beat. Fire sign love man, beat, them love beat. Love beat. Um. And Raga, let me tell you something, Raga. Yeah. You know, say, in every relationship, Peter and tongue me. Yeah. You see me? And you know, say, woman mouth of them strength. Yeah. Me na, me da never ever lift my hand off of my wife one day. Cool, never. man. Rate you for that. No, me, my Raga. Never, ever. And we have big up that, yeah. Yes, man. I believe that weak man beat woman. Thank you. I'm going at home when I see my mother and father argue, yes, but my father, him just keep quiet. <laughs> so, in now, Lika, you see me? Yes, it. Yeah, man, and, and I just think that's the way it was brought up. And one other thing, Raga, uh-huh. I tell you honest, too, Raga, I listen to the show from we. I mean, I tell you something really upsetting, Raga. Boy, what? what the rape thing? When me hear the, the woman, they come and talk about the rape thing in Raga. What upset you? What upset you? Raga man, them your man never got prison and come back a, a road man. Me cool, uh, honest, too, for man. real, for real, for real. Yeah man, oh 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 oh, what me no know? What could I drive me? For just see a woman, I want, I want go, go, go take one that belongs to me, Raga. But what eh? me say is no fight a go on out there. It's a go on, Raga. And it depend the increase. Yeah, of course. You see me say Raga, and and I I know me a love for certain some of them Raga. Yeah. You see them, the man them when them do it, Raga, them a go say, them a go. If you do this, you do that, and, it, and if, if you're going to tell the police, I'm going to do this. I chew them a coward, Raga. Yeah. A coward. You see yeah. Me? yeah. And the, the woman, them for no, so they're going to tell the police. You see me? Yeah. And you're afraid. You get what I'm saying? Because and I'm and the police, them need to sort out the way them treat the woman, them too, to make, be careful that um, you know the utmost sensitivity is maintained, you know? And things. But, but for example, you, you, you don't need a male doctor. I examine a woman after she gets real. That, exactly. Little thing like them, not little thing, big things like them, they wouldn't need them something, there, you know? That is something I say. Mm-hmm. For real, though, like a meeting, say, they must come more drastic. More than the, the, the woman she's teen years. Yeah. Because you have a man who do it already and go spend the time and do it again. Um, yeah. 
You get what I say? Yeah, man, it's a matter that definitely need to be revisited yeah, because I, 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 me don't know it, me, me, you sound like a ghetto man and thing, but when me I say, you know, you know, sound out about them thing I go and I no, increase. No. Yeah. So, go, what you mean me hear it all the time? Me hear it all the time, Raga. And me I say, it's full time now for, because even, even upon the UA thing, when me hear you talk about the UA thing, Raga, I'm shocked. Why you shocked? No, because me I say, me know so them things are happening about when, when, when you say uh, a man rape a woman right at the U Sherlock building. Me yeah. can't believe it. But me couldn't believe it too. Me have to take time gently. I may say, don't listen. It, you, you, me have to have a phrase it away. I say, but you're saying 8 o'clock in the evening. Ex that is when the camp was busy. I don't. And then when she explain it now, in, a, in my opinion, me believe her. I don't care nobody wants to say. Me believe her. Raga, me would have believed too. Because it's a raga, this is the problem with, with even some of the parents. Them. Uh -huh. me, when them picnic, them man when them have a rape, them, them, them picnic. Uh -huh. And when the picnic come, because the man are, are mine, the man are give them... Talk up, talk up the things, them. You, you, you see me? Talk the man, up. The man said, no, no, go start. I treat like the man. And really and truly, the man... The man really are, 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 are trouble the picnic. You see me? Me and hear what woman say. A jealous her daughter, jealous her, make sure yeah. I say them things. Eh? All them foolishness, eh? Look mm. at all them foolishness, eh? Some of the parents, them are called, um, enough of them picnic out there uh, uh, for, for this car to the day. You see what I say? Uh -huh. Because when it happened the first time, the picnic tell them, the mother not say nothing. The second time, you see me? Uh -huh. Until the picnic them say, all right. You have to take it up in a marijuana. Some of them commit suicide. You see me? Some of them go, 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 go kill all the man. No, people. listen me now. You see, enough of them parents say, where you here, reach a point and I talk about how them picnic work list. Yeah. If you know the full story, why the picnic now look upon them again, you, you know? Definitely. Listen now. Like you take yeah. care of here. Eh? Yeah, man, you take care here. Yeah, man, I'm big up. I call in this, you know, so big up yourself. See? Him? Enough respect. Ca call in from where? You don't know call in where they call you, man. I work cooler, man. Yeah, man. All right, Papa. Protection. protection. Yeah, man. All right. Let me just read that one before we read that email before we go for a break. Raga, IT and, Fancy Cat, IT and Fancy Cat did a very good job, job on Friday. However, where was Ruth and Reggie? I don't remember hearing IT and Fancy, Fancy Cat saying anything about them. I stand corrected if I'm wrong. I'm kind of disappointed about that, seeing that you always include them. I think the three of you should host one Friday, but cautiously, trust me, the place would blow up. Radio couldn't manage on a tree at once. Root now I tap my mic. My. Okay, about the issue of the week. Let me tell you, March, these set of people are really, really stubborn. My two brothers, 11 and 16 years. My brother, girlfriend, 14, 15, sometimes she banned. My girlfriend and one of my close friends. The whole of them stubborn. Also, they can be mean. And when they are there, there is no way of getting what you want from them. What the need, when the need to lie, they can be really sincere about it. Me born July 31st. Big up the Leos. I can say the same thing you said about July, man, them can't do without woman, them. Trust me, I mean that. Me getting in trouble recently. When I was just getting to know my girl, she would uh, mention that to me because she have an uncle who was born in a July. Would I deny it now, but she understand I'm a kind of sickle myself. I think we are the skillless when it comes to persuasion. <laughs> and me don't normally boast, but a fact. From my aunt here, you say, so this morning she start talking about couple man she knew where stay so. And for all of the people them, we are called about July people, them lie. It's just cause the lie depend July, so them use that. Oh, lie, yeah. That topic, the topic has sell off. And I'm sorry, I couldn't keep it shorter. God bless. No leave radio. Lions forever. It's a Leo man. Okay, here we go. I will have a break. We'll soon come back. Welcome back to Raga Shanti Live with your host, Miss Cherry Wash Belly, Dr. Raga Shanti. Yeah, man, welcome back up in our same thing. Uh, the real Jamaican talk show with me, Miss Cherry Wash Belly, Raga Shanti. Raga, you sound bitter this morning. Oh, this I found yesterday, that email I come yesterday. But now watch no face, the public love you. Talk up the things, them, and burn all bad mind people. August woman are the sweetest. Worst when is a Leo. I am a living evidence of that. But here we see him now. 
Well, I, why you can't talk quietly? Eh? Oh. <laughs> that woman, she said, August, over there, the sweetest as she a living evidence. I hear where she named? Tricky Nicky. <laughs> why Tricky Nicky, you know, easy, you know. <laughs> tricky Nicky, you know, easy. Morning, Raga, I think that you'll have to change your topic to rapes in school, college, and university. Well, like we said, the woman um, they are feel it and thing. Next email. Good morning, Raga. I attend Exit Community College part-time. I was going home one night. I was at the bus stop when a taxi stopped and I went in. But the reason I went in was because there was three other ladies in the taxi. But all the three came off before me and I was going to town. The taxi driver started talking to me in a tone of voice that made me scared. He was asking me some personal questions and acted as if he wanted to touch me. He stopped at a stoplight and I just came out of the taxi without reaching my destination. I was so scared. I never took a taxi again unless I am with someone who's going straight downtown with me. A damn thing I do, man, I'm afraid I go through. You imagine you can't ride in a taxi at peace. You have under some one woolly pasture. Here we go, phone line. Stop of the morning to you. Hello. Hello. Yes, hello. Morning, Raga. Morning. Um, you see, lady, I talk about February people nice. Uh -huh. I want to race with the people. Them it's February people, them mean something. They look so bad. They prefer dead with them money. Fe <laughs> so them turn Tanraga. You know, see, February people money. Uh huh. I want a wicked set of people them. February people, I want a wicked set of people them. Of course. And, and how you know that now? Me have a sister born February and me have friends born February. So weird. Find your, it's not just your sister. Me, you, me have one son born February. I hope to God you know, can't no, okay. pray for him every day. <laughs> you pray for him every day to him born February. Of course. I want so, a worse set of people So them. weird. But you say you have friends who still so but you're saying that your friends are some of the worst set of people and your sister is one of the worst set of people. Right? You know, see February people, money, Raga. You know, see them money, they mean. That's what you say, they mean. Yeah, they mean. February people mean. You really believe it have to do with the month? I, everybody want me know about February is the same way. They never have money yet, Raga, when they have $10,000 in their pocket. They never go through that. They say, I'm going to go up the road, you follow them, by the time I reach up town, they buy this, that, and I say, oh, you never have no money. I'm going to take up my money to go up town, and I follow them go up town. Wait, wait. Are you saying that as far as you're concerned, February people are the meanest people? I mean, you know? Yes. But what if somebody say, just because your sister born February, I hear the runner every day and all them something that make you know what I'm saying. So I'm to my friend them. Your friend them? Yeah. They mean too. They mean, Raga. I just the woman they mean or the man they mean? Both of them. Both of them. So both February man and woman they mean? Yeah, I I know that about November, mama. What about November, mama? But I tell you, I'm going to arrest some people them. Huh? I'm going to arrest some people them. November. Yes. What them do now? How them turn you now? But I tell you. Oh, yeah. What you didn't tell me? me, me, me yeah, Christina from Sav. Fra Christina from Sav. Now, West. Oh, yeah, man. All right, then. Because it is sound about November. Man. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Raga. Yeah. Christina, sister, Julian. Julian. Wait, are you shut up, boy? No, me shut up, boy. No, no, no. <laughs> Who land you now? What month you born? Me born July. You born July? Yeah. Okay. You believe in this month thing and you think it really goes off true? Everybody tell line every month to them born raga. Everybody tell line every month. Okay. So people yeah. stop blaming July people about their lie, no? Yeah, everybody just, tell lie. Just because it ends with lie. But what me I say, you believe say you can know things about a person based on the month where them born. Yeah, me have a boyfriend who born September and I give her prayers. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know. But it's just, you, that, is, that is just one person. Oh, you can't say that about all September, man, no. A couple of people. A eh? couple of people, man. So and you know other know. September people? Yeah. Who mean to? Yeah. Like who, sir? A couple of my friends, them. More, I'm not for my friends, them, who born July. So July people, uh -huh. they love you, but it's one time they left you. Uh -huh. Them feel like so them for spite. So that's like, if you can't depend on them. I said, the man, them still. So they're revengeful like and vindictive, don't they? Them, yeah, like if you and them in an argument and you and them left them like, you know, if you, if them know like you have to depend on them for certain things, them like take with that for you. Oh. I just saw them steer. Oh, okay, okay. So when I'm about July people, them I just because, 
them tell lies, yes, but them me, me not so me not tell lies, no me tell lies, but me tell lies to save my life. Okay. <laughs> and true because them tell lies. You, no? eh? you tell survival lies, huh? Eh? You tell survival lies, huh? Yeah. All right. Because them are, most of them are lying and they not even remember what they tell us. Eh? Uh, uh, inside me, I lie. Me, I remember what me tell you. you <laughs> but you sound like a, like a very good liar, don't you? <laughs> eh? Eh? You're a very, you consider yourself a very good liar, right? Me, me is a great one. Me not really say good, but <laughs> me, I tell, me not really tell lie, but me have to tell it, it done properly. You tell it good. And what about you, man? Me I tell you July. July, you man. And you tell, when you say, when you tell lie, you tell it proper. Yeah, because... Can you remember your lie, them, and you know exactly what you say, and nobody can catch you, don't it? Oh. Then uh, that's why the people, them, are mean to you, man. They not mean to me. That's they why the September, man, mean to you, man. Because them things say you always a gin him. No, because, listen, it is, it is like this, him say, me and you are the same thing, because me can't tell when you are lying, me can't tell when you are talking truth. Because him know him lie and him know him mean. All right. We'll talk to some other people and hear what they say about it, yeah? All right, then. Only take care of yourself over there. Enough respect. All right. Blessings. Here we go. Top of the morning to you. Hello. Hi, morning. I hope now. Hey, what's up? Boy, you make my daughter there. You laugh after me and I call me whole it. What, because you're whole long. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> You know, uh-huh. boy, as, as I listen, a long time I'm not call, and as I listen, listen to you, uh-huh. I must tell you that you always make my day. All right, you blessings. You teach me how to laugh in spite of everything. All right. You understand how okay, rough it gets? Uh-huh. And from the first time I saw you on that program, I remember, I don't remember which one of my children them I said to say, you know, say, look like that man they born in September. <laughs> why, and why you say that? Though? But, uh, well, trust me, me you said, the way, the way you talk, uh-huh. the whole life story, uh-huh. I can tell you, September people, they don't have it easy. I mean, everybody don't have it easy, but it's like a particular thing we do, especially the Virgos. Uh-huh. You understand? Uh-huh. I know you can be very loving. Okay. Very loving. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> very kind. You give to the very last. Okay. You give to your last and you don't have nothing. Okay. You understand? And R- me can vouch for that because that is me and a lot of people that I know, especially those that born under the sign of Virgo. Uh-huh. And not, we don't have luck. Okay. Oh, so you're straight Virgo too, right? Straight Virgo, 16th of September. Oh, cool, no? You understand? Uh-huh. We don't have no luck. You understand? Luck. We don't have no... If we can tell you something, but you have luck and you have blessing. Yeah. We have a lot of blessing. Everybody bless. Right. In a different, different way. Yeah. But you, it, it's a set of people that if we hear anything, I give it down to you. See, by the time we reach it down. Okay, okay. We have to work for our thing, don't we? We have to work for it. Anything we want, anything we have. But we're not afraid of work. We're not afraid of work. Yeah, no. we, we're not afraid of work and we're not back down easily and we don't give up easily. That's right. We don't give up easily and we love challenges. We don't like anything that is that is easily to solve. No, no, I mean, no, no, no. I mean, sometimes me, 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 me can't do without certain crosses and certain <laughs> challenges, right? Well, I know, so. but, well it all depends. <laughs> but I hear the voice in out in July. Yeah. And trust me. Yeah. I have a feeling why a lot of people voice out in July. Not because we know they lie, you know. Uh-huh. Live are lasting. Holy for them, you know. Lie and personally lie. So, yes, the July people really yes. lie for true. Lie, man. Especially man, them. The man, then. Lie. Lie like a Lie, lie more than politicians, don't you? The is the make of it. Okay. Lie, you. All right. Well, I have a minute, so, so go and finish. But it's a set of people you cannot tame them. You can't tame them. You can't tame them. And I, I, I and I think that is merely the reason why people is so much against, especially the men. You can't tame them. But if them love you, if they going to love you, nothing I tell you that there's nothing too hard for them to give you. Okay. Yeah, mama, you a set of people, you can't tame them. See, you see. cannot be tamed. And I guess that is the whole concept and the reason why a lot of people lick out and July, especially the men them. Okay. But they, they liar. Yeah? But I don't know why them are take it for July, so. No, but that's true. Personally, uh-huh. my husband, I uh-huh. can't tell you personally, not only him alone, but others, that born okay. July. Uh-huh. Once a July, whether first a July, last a July, trust uh-huh. me. With, and that's a July man, why, that's true? 
Yes. Okay. Yeah, but if they love one particular person, I hate that. I hate that. All right. Listen yes. up. Blessings to your reason again. And I'm good to hear your voice because you don't know your foundation night thing. Yeah. I tell you, God bless you, brother. And you see, you see my, my, my guide, you guide him for me now. Reggie. Reggie. Guide Reggie for me. All right. Then. Remember, tell Reggie, I'm, I'm, I'm charged, charged with giving you guide. The only reason why Reggie gets to find you too young. I stop rub the cradle. I call it cradle. Cradle. In one year, you're older than my son. In one year, well, I son. So if, if Reggie never saw young, you'd have fixed him business, don't it? That give him a proper sort of. Rock him nerves, man. Rock him man. You must see him right here. You must try to be cool, man. Reggie, you look you so young and you'd have fixed your business for you. Make you talk in a tongue. Slip a disc in your back. Make you find the Lord Jesus. Hey, Glory, hey. hallelujah. Anyway, bless up here. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Reggie. Reggie, sit down there. <laughs> Stephanie, what do you think about that? Reggie might fix her business. Reggie, I'm weird. <laughs> Stay but there. The, but But the, the, that statement assumes that you have an understanding. Or no, you know, no, no, no. You know no, no, something no, no. about Raga, Reggie. Raga, Raga. No, me just as I say. It, it implies that you're aware of um, some capabilities no, on Reggie's I'm part. I'm not aware. You see, men like Reggie who are so unassuming. Them Usually quiet man a dragon is in there somewhere. A dragon in, yeah. in there somewhere. And in then somewhere. under the right circumstances. So we're saying that Reggie is an animal. Breathe fire when you All right. <laughs> Welcome back to Ragashanti Live with your host, Miss Cherry Wash Belly, Dr. Ragashanti. Yeah, man, welcome back up in our same thing, the real Jamaican talk show with me, Miss Cherry Wash Belly, Ragashanti. Quick email. Morning, Raga. I have a cousin that born September, and she. I can't say that word. And she. And she. I go and say she take a lot of man, bad. When we ask her why she take a lot of man, she said that. She not really take a lot of man. She just change man hard. Furthermore, it happened that last night she was writing a text to one of her lovers. So she asked one of her cousins, How much stars in the sky? The cousin replied by saying that, Count how much money you have and not that amount of stars in the sky. Raga, the only person who can cool the Virgo vipers, excuse me, are the Pisceans, which runs from 19 of February to 19 of March. I and I saying this, I think March people are the best people God placed on this earth. We are sweet, compassionate, emotional. Even the males, we are not afraid to show our emotions. Kind, there are none of us. But Raga, there is a, a but if we get to love you. And make we get to hate you. And it's a horrible thing. Yes, and we're very sometimes. Big up Miss Piggy, a.k.a. Hog Royal. Big up Miss Piggy, a.k.a. Hog Royal. Or Aniv, Auntie Finery, Shanta, Chantel and the whole family. We listen to you every day. Raga, your lad. Yes, Raga, the same September one say she want to give you a proper fix so you can sleep peacefully at night time. Well, okay then. Here we go. Top of the morning to you. Hello. Hello, morning. Yes, sir. Uh, my brother. Boy, it's a general people, brother. Eh. Uh-huh. The woman there. Yeah. The mean man. General woman the mean? Yeah, man. So me remember my three neighbors. Uh-huh. This in my home. Yeah. Boy, my terror there. Uh-huh. Boy, they never have anything to do with. That's like three. The tr- three the three ne- woman there. Three woman them never have anything for you. No, they ever want. But, them, but you give them anything? Yeah, man. What you give them? Anything I want, man. Like what, sir? Food, money, oh. man, man. Okay. But then when you need anything from them, they not give it? No, them say, boy, it's done, it's finished, it's chance here. And the three of them born January? Yeah, man. Okay. All right. Then. But it's the man who no, was talking about him, right? Born January? Yeah. I saw a wife, man. Oh, to my wife? Yes, um, my church mother born January. Uh-huh. But if I never my church mother, uh-huh. probably see you mean to me. 
Okay. So it look like January people then kind to them 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 the, the ones them who them love but yeah, them mean them mean to uh, own a real better Joe Under. Yeah. Them see the move. What that? The see where man January. Yeah. Move. They move where? Yeah, and see moving man. And three more moving? Yeah, but man January. Wait, the three January women move out? Yeah. And three more women move in? Yeah, well, man, January. And all of them born January too? Yeah. No, but well, and people are going to listen and say, what are the chances of that? That three of your neighbor born January, the three of them move where? And then three more women come in, and the three of them born January too? Yeah, man, but we have another neighbor in the, in the home. Yeah. And them friends. But... The person put them up. Oh, okay. Put them up. Yeah, and the man, January. Okay, and how them stay now? They mean to, man. They mean to. So a six January woman, you know who mean, you know? Yeah, man. So one of them met with 50 dollars one time. So I said, all right. One man said, so I said, one month to buy. When did they tell me to buy January? Uh-huh. It's a G. We better see for the same time we see for. So I'm not with the general people, anything. Okay. All right then, Papa. But it's September. September. Uh, uh, October, woman there. Yeah. And the best woman there, man. Them, they are the boss. Yeah, man. September, October, woman. Yeah. All right then, Papa. Listen now, you take care here. Yeah, man. Listen. Yeah, man, every time. Man. Email. Um, I want you to like me cause I want you to like me cause me like you. Cause me like your toes in your slippers. If them look so good, you take care of yourself. I don't want no February man, they mean bad. Lord only God can help them the man then. Apollonia? Well hmm. You made it look curious. Okay, this is from Tamara Ennis, who works in our newsroom. Raga, word has it that you read all emails. Those that praise you, as well as the ones that just speak the truth. So I'm sending you a copy of your dating test results for you to share with your listeners. We will not be reading that. <clears throat> we will not be reading that. What? No, it was a setup. Yeah. Stephanie and Tamara and Charlotte and Simone, the whole of them set me up in the newsroom. Let me do one test by the computer. I sit down about half hour do the test, you know. And then they come out, they have, they have about 15 different profiles where you can get Reggie. And my one was the worst one. It was a setup. And I tell them it was a setup. We're not reading that. Them too wicked. I try whatever. Here we go. Okay, Raga, I'm so sorry to hear about that caller's ordeal and that she's still suffering from the traumatic effects years later. This is an email from yesterday again. There is nothing sensuous or sexual about rape. Even in a relationship, if a situation should arise where sex is taken, not negotiated, it still makes you feel dirty. You want to wash away that moment, that feeling. I sincerely hope that she'll be able to find some solace in a support marie oh and this is from our head girl marie marie wagwan now you're from you now why uh okay okay uh here we go top of the morning to you hello um you know say it's a time to say something about uh sir is you part some foolish inside that hello yes hello <laughs> <laughs> bro say you get catch again bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm to you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to do that chat about those, Bruce. It's a tell you about some what, ear part, ear side, something like that. The, what? Some, the test where you do. The test? Yes, I oh, know that. Oh, you know about it? Yes. Yes, man. We're not <laughs> when you don't tell you where you is. Exactly. <laughs> I want to them after that. No, but that one, yeah, that one that was a setup. <laughs> And when you don't know, you have to send it to somebody and tell them who you are. No, I'm not sending that one to anybody. Because <laughs> Tamara Ennis set it up, <laughs> Stephanie Shaw set it up, Charlotte and Simone them set it up and thing. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> so I go down, you know. Conspiracy against you. Yes, yes, yes. I know you alone, then I'll get it to me. I know 
Tamara and 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 um and um what's her name? Well, no, <laughs> no, no. Me, me not talk about the test. Me I talk oh. about them rig the test. Oh, you th- oh you think that them rig the test? Them rig the test. <laughs> oh, I It was see, clear I to see. me that they rig the test. I see. Hey, Raga, mm-hmm. that lady this morning will come on and say she know about people, not the one that you interviewed. Right. I don't know if she depending on where she has studied. <laughs> But <laughs> look like so like she give it to your month, man. No, no, she can't give it to my month, you know, because money have nothing to do with nothing. Right. It's the characteristics that you were born with. Okay. Where you get from your parents or your relatives or whatever. Or your socialization, right? Exactly, because my two children are born one by me and one by November. Uh-huh. And they have similar characteristics because they are my children. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So, I don't believe in this thing about no month thing, and I am not a liar. But when you grew up with it, you hear a whole heap of people who depend on this thing? Of course, now I hear them talk that. Yeah, I, I, you, you, would you say it's a big thing in Jamaica? Yes, it is. Uh, okay, okay. Because people, you know, you the people them say, them not talk to this man, if they ever hear say this man, they hear this man, yeah. they hear them strong oh, about it. Them not each upon it. No, sir, I don't no believe in that. Because I know a man from different months. Uh-huh. And me know, some of them characteristics, they me not really see. But you, just have, have you never, have them. you, have you, have, you've never been in a situation where it's just strange, though? You don't believe in it, but you meet these people from the same side and they are so no, me never, me never really uncannily me. similar. I, it's amazing to me. I don't believe in this thing, you know. But it's amazing, <laughs> but it's fun, though, all right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's amazing <laughs> yes. to me how similar. Leo women are and how similar December women are. It's almost frightening to me how similar they are. Yeah. And I mean I know August women. I'm mean, yeah, my talk about woman August woman this and that I'm very, very and I know August I have friends who are August and they are very nice. Seeing? Unlike what them say. Okay, okay. I mean no all right. Them say September man mean. They say you're a can't one now, you know. Uh-huh. But I no, but a lot of people say September men are, are <laughs> kind to those who they love, you know. But I never see, even if you're not involved like that. Uh. You know, September man, and them not mean to me. Them not mean to you? No. Okay. And I don't like them, no, so me not getting none with them. Right. So, that, that, that to me, that's So, them just not naturally fun. kind. Them not look. Talk up the things, them EJ, make the people, them know what I've won. I don't really believe in it. This thing, it just happens. That, all right. It's just coincidental that people from different months born with the same characteristics. Okay. It is it's, it's only natural. All right, How, then. You couldn't have it specifically linked to just one month and them this and that. Then, oh, you have other months where people... But you seem to be it. saying that all the Jamaicans who believe say this thing, I go, so, not, 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 them, them are idiots. But they're foolish, miss. Oh, we have right, you. All right, you know. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that is utter rubbish because personally, me and that lady, I say, April, woman, lie. Me no like liar. And me no tell lie. And our month you born? I'm born April 2. Defend your thing, E.J. Defend your things, pro say. I'm not right because I hate a liar. All right, well, I'm going to call a quick break before we come back and then you, you, you do your thing, yeah? Yes, right. All right, welcome. Welcome back to Raga Shanti Live with your host, Miss Cherry Wash Belly, Dr. Raga Shanti. Yeah, man, welcome back up in our thing, yeah? The real Jamaican talk show with me, Mr. Washbelly Raga Shanti. Back to EJ. Yes, EJ. Yes, Raga. Let mm. me tell you, this liar thing, uh-huh. I hate it. Uh, if, if you tell me a lie, may just have a look at you different from after that. I mean, find out. Well, wait, 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 what does that have to do with month, though? No, but you said that the April people lie. So, me I tell us that me don't like liars, so me don't tell lies. No, but do you hear telling lies or do you hear being lied to? I hate being lied to and I don't like to tell lies. I okay. don't tell lies. Oh, you hate being lied to, but you don't like to tell lies. I hate telling lies either. Okay. And I don't tell lies. Okay, all right then. Because if I don't like you to lie to me, why would I want to lie to anybody? All right As then. As well. All right. So, I mean, you know. I could sound out some other somebody and hear what they must say. One more thing. Uh-huh. Friday was my daughter's birthday and uh-huh. you weren't there. Uh-huh. 
so you need to say happy birthday to her today. She listens on the news talk dot com dot J M. See me, I put it out there. All right. Happy birthday, baby. Happy belated birthday. Her name is Yvette. Happy is she near Yvette like you too? Yes. Okay. Happy birthday, little Yvette. <laughs> 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 no, don't say that. My daughter beat you. Uh, uh, my daughter beat you, man. Uh, yeah, tell her. All right. <laughs> Happy birthday, younger Yvette. All yeah. right. All right. Blessings here. All yeah. right, then, Raga. Take two. Yeah, man. Quick email. Good morning, Raga. Me and my co worker can do, can do no work from 9 to 12. You have us hooked. Anyways, yes, the month where you're born have a lot to do with the type of person you are because me did have one man who was born July and who lie like him. All when me see the boy with me two eye them, him say I never him. <laughs> September man mean and August terrible. Them ignorant and have a whole heap of women. December men are the best. Big up yourself because you don't know so we love you. Gone to bed, baby. Kisses, 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 kisses. P.S. I call you. I call... Oh, interesting. Okay, moving right along. Whatever, Ruthie. Here we go. Uh, okay. Whoa, let me mean. Hi, Raga. Pleasant day to all the staff of News Talk 93 and you. I'm an Aquarian, February 17, and my partner is Libra, September 25. We are compatible. For me, I know my man is very kind, caring, loving. All that is good, but one thing, though, is very quick-tempered and at times. But other than that, we are okay together for 12 years now, and I want him for the remainder of my years on Earth here. 53 times 34. That's our number. Raga, hope you find your ideal partner soon. If you don't already, just enjoy life. It's worth living. My husband works in Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. Carlene. 53 times 34. That's our number. What does that mean? Here we go. Top of the morning to you. Hello. 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 Hi, morning. Morning. Hey, when my baby born, the baby now stop laughing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh. I hear them and say September people lie, but I lie them I tell. I lie them I tell, don't? Yes, Talk of the thing, nice. them. Defend September people, yes. September people nice, nice, nice. Me born the 9 and my baby father born the 10. And we nice. Right. We kind and we loving. We kind of sneaking. There you go. Sneaking. And September people, the man them, them love keep malice. The oh, man nice. them love keep malice? Yeah. <laughs> and April people, yeah. them nice too. You ever notice a September um, Virgo people get along with Virgo people. Well, I saw me here. Hey, I did read that in the horoscope one time. You know? I read that too. Yeah. That them say some sign don't get along with some sign, but them say Virgos get along. Virgo men get along with Virgo women. A true. And that is, remember, I don't believe it. I just think it's fun. But every Virgo woman I meet, me and them vibe. Me don't know if I true, but me and father. Every Virgo woman I meet, me and them vibe. Yeah, Virgo people nice. Everybody me know about um, a Virgo, them nice. Yeah, yeah okay. And April? I, I, I'm inclined to agree with that. You know. Oh, my baby, I go born April, so some know some baby, I go nice. Your baby, I go nice? Yeah, my yeah baby. Yeah, wait till he start ball at night time and stress you. Yeah, you <laughs> the baby now go ball because the way me I laugh at day time. Okay, all right then. The it's going to be a happy baby, laugh. don't it? <laughs> <laughs> all right then, all but right. you're cool though. Huh? You're cool though. When you do, oh, hot. April, you say? Put more hot. Put more hot. And you yeah. say, April, you do? Yes. We wish you all the best. You know, you know the, the sex yet, the gender? No, in December. In December, you're going to know? Yes. Okay. And um, the gentleman is going with you, right? He's not here. Oh, he's not here. Okay. So, but, you know, you have somebody a rally around you and a look out for your thing, don't you? My mother. All right. Big up, Mom Z. Then you know, big up your mother then? Oh, yeah, me. Big up my mother, don't know what. And what's your name? Paul. Big up Paulette down a wharf. Paulette now watch nothing you sell off. All right, you take care here. All right. Blessings and respect. I will have the people make a sip that mint tea and see if you. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's all right. But it's hot. Nice and hot, I said. It's all right. And <coughs> yeah, man, thank you. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Email, <laughs> Yel Raga, the month has a lot to do with the person's behavior. Like, for instance, they say January people are very mean. August people are very talented. They say July people are lie and ginal. December women are wicked. I do believe the month has a lot to do with it. <laughs> Big up, Miss Telma, because Miss Telma's birthday, what, the 6th? At this month? 
Now Thursday, I'm still my birthday. On the sixth or the fifth. When my sister Peggy will call and tell me. Or Miss Telma will call and tell me. Here we go. Top of the morning to you. Hello. Hello? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so I like them to tell you January people, though. And what do I say about January people now? Man? Yo, January man, no. They say they mean. Uh -huh. But we not mean, no. What do you mean? Guess what? We not give none. And it's we love, no. Oh. And oh. we reserve the money for good use. That's right. You're not careless with a car. No. But I tell you about love my woman now. They're it, my best woman, me know. November woman. Yeah, man. And why would, would you say a thing crap. like that now? Eh? Why would you say a thing like that? Because my wife is. Okay, okay, okay. I'm Your wife will listen to the show? Eh? Your wife will listen to the no, show? No, sir. Okay. She's not no time for that. Okay. You need to send her. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Good like that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So All right, then, Papa. I tell you, I tell you, we are the white man. January man does reserve. All right, and Papa. We don't love, we don't give you. We can't waste the money, man. You see, I don't blame you. No, man, I, I that man waste money. Cool, man. Mm. All right, All right then. Good. Blessings here. I will have a break. Simple community. I will come back. Wow, wow. This is New Stock 93 FM. FM. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Ragashanti Live with your host, Miss Cherry Wash Belly, Dr. Ragashanti. Our numbers are 702-3470-970-0106-702-2585-977-7638 and a toll free at 1-888-991-5155. And is streaming live on the internet at www.newstalk.com.jm. Hey man, welcome back up in our same thing, the real Jamaican talk show with me, Mr. Washbelly Raga Shanti. Quick email, there is a Raga, hi Raga, there is a book named McDonald's. A little yellow book that you get in the drugstore. It probably costs less than $500. I think it's a farmer's guide. It has all the months, meaning for both man and woman, even who you are compatible with. Please get it and read it. Some of them and read some of the months, meaning when well, Mr. Cool Day, love you. Mr. Cool is okay. I think he's back at school now, so he cannot call in the day. But we are here on another evening program over there. Raga Woman. Raga, December woman and January woman, I have nothing to do with them. Nothing at all. They're my devil. This man was a shot and to the point, and I eat that. No, Pancita Baxter, your email ain't too long, man. Make your email ain't long, so my God. Pancita, I've got to read your email tomorrow, in the preamble. <laughs> All right? Because, no, man, Pancita, your email ain't always long, man. I think, see? Here we go. Top of the phone line, too. No, I don't want to know black guy that Hello? Like. hello, yeah? Hello? Yes, hello. Yes, what's up, Harold? Yeah, what's up? Anyway, the lady will call you and said, um, forever people mean and all of that. That's Defend it. Like. How am I on you, man? February. Uh, February. So you know what I mean? No, I'm you not. You give her things? Me not give her everything. If you okay. need it, me not give it away. <laughs> you understand? But we are not mean. And, and but yes, we lie. We know that. So you but as a February woman are own it, so on a lie. Yeah, we lie. <laughs> we lie. We get to in, in certain things. Oh. Uh, and so then lie, no lie? Huh? Yeah, talk like you have good lie and bad lie. Yeah, you have good lie and bad lie. Okay, all right. How about and November, man? No? November, man, is good, man. You are a respectable person. Okay. You have a good November, man, right now? I used to. You used to? Yes. So, oh, you lose the good man, then? Huh? Oh, you lose it's the good man. He's not a Jamaican. He's not a Jamaican. And right. he's have to fly out. Yeah. So, November, man, can't get visa for you. What? November man can't get visa for you. Raga, don't go there. People, property. A people. So wait, you did there with a man? Who there with somebody else? Eh? He's married. He's married? Yeah. Okay. But a good man. Yeah. And him did a take care of your thing, don't he? Everything. And send everything did. vacation and all of them places. Him send you go a vacation? Yeah, like Edenism. Okay. And you be a pair one and all of them places. So he make you stay in pay for all them things. You stay at the hotel and them things. But yeah. when you say send you, him send you by yourself or him go with you? Uh, sometimes he go with me. If he leave, 
him go with me. Anyway, him go with me. Okay, him go with me. Always you. go with me, yeah. Okay, so but him treat you good, you know, expose you to Always. a lot of artists. Always, and I from me and him there over the three years, I don't mean, know if no lie when him tell me. Okay. I mean, never can say, him did tell me like, can't say, you tell me like no, or whatever, he's, he's not like So that. you and him there for three years? Yeah. Okay, and the three years him did marry, that, him did marry when you there with him, don't you? Yeah. But a good man, though. Good man. So what do you think for him, wife thing? Well, I don't know. She's not a Jamaican sister. So I don't know what she has seen right now. And that doesn't really concern you anyway. It doesn't yeah. really concern me. I don't know what I have when I want him. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and him did, him did okay with everything? Everything. Okay. Everything? Everything. Okay. All right. that, that did proper? Uh-uh. It's more than proper, Raga. Oh, cool, man. All right, then. All oh. right. All right, then. You take care of Cool. Sweet, yeah. <laughs> Email Raga. This is George in Canada. I am an August man, and I have nothing to do with that April woman. For she ate me before I was born. <laughs> but I know that if I am talking to a woman and she said that she born in me, Raga. Even if I buy her the world, that we would live happy, and I find out that she born in that month, me. I run, leave everything with her and go make another life. Well, judge, basically, I say, I have nothing to do with me, woman. Then big up the Canada link, you see. Here we go. Uh, Raga, respect to you and the staff and all the family members. Raga, June, people is the best, both man and woman. Big up, Ruth. Girl, we are the best. The ladies write about July and August. Both man and woman, them terrible, wicked, them bad. If I were a man seeking a wife, it would have to be a June girl for me. Raga, I recommend a June wife for you. Excuse me. Here we go. Top of the morning to you. Ruth is losing it in here because, you know, she's a June woman. Top of the morning to you. Hello. Hello, Raga. Morning. Hey, what's up? Hey, uh, girl. Uh, uh, may I send an email because, I mean, you know, two people are complaining. You know, I sit back and I relax. It's I was hard in. To get in. But all I'm going to do is try because it was very hard and we we'll never stop trying because I want to talk to you today. You see it. You and see just, it. You know what? And incidentally, just as me, get through that's the time you hear read the email where you send yourself oh your email yeah yeah but oh, sir, can we not, you know when i get for go through them through yes. the day and thing you know mm. so i go down babes oh nothing this morning no raga yeah let me tell you you see okay me somebody calling them something about march which was too nice i don't know about that in a raga because i know um um me born march my sign is aries mm. and i'm not going to my own my own horn but you know, um, if, if there's something that I can do for somebody to make them life a little easier, I will do it. So I'm not I can vote for you for that, Marie. <laughs> You're good, somebody. I mean, we defend that anywhere we go. Right? You know. Because you always try to help people and do all you can. Yeah, Enough can, look you know, at people and you do it quietly too without no only for exactly praise or nothing. Now that may rate about you. That may rate about you. This morning because of what somebody said, you know. You know? Okay. Uh, uh, me have. Um, I have a son that's born me. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think you know what I need to go through the Monty. I think somebody said it. It's socialization. Right. You know, and and for the horoscope thing, I think if you get up every day and read your horoscope, naturally I can shape your life for fifteen feet for the rest of the day. Okay. That's so, me look for it. Oh, you so know? you are gonna, you read it and then it become a self fulfilling prophecy because exactly. you start do what the things say you for do exactly. and then in your mind it becomes circular because then it says see it it come true. Exactly. See there, my horoscope they tell me that you know. Uh -huh. You understand me because you have some people first thing in the morning uh -huh. after read read, read 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 for the paper. It's true. And you know what I remember one time back in the days, um, a, a daily horoscope thing used to come from the radio. Maybe if it still come mm -hmm. and I know people were very Religiously, it, them have to listen to it, and for the rest of the day, them have to shape them life for fitting to what was said. But tell me something now. Me and you get up, we are get up somebody mm -hmm. and thing. Me know say me grew up and it is a strong thing. You in your in your growing up and thing, did you how strong was it in your opinion? Well, it, in terms of how Jamaicans look on this month thing and make them decisions. Oh, no, very strong. Very, very strong. strong. Then I hear some people call and say if they meet a man. And the man born so and so, them is like they're not even gonna get a person a chance. Uh, they yeah. don't even give them a chance. And you know what, Turaga? I think it's based upon past experience. Right. Maybe they had a bad experience right. with somebody that was born that particular month. Uh, and because of that, no, it shaped them all 
worldview of the other your favorite word. Right, and right. Thing. Them experience that. More. Me not have nothing to do with them people. There. I have a son that is born in September, the latter part of September. And Raga, him kind to a fault. Okay, and okay. And I think, you know what, and you know him tell me all the while, him say, Marie, are you may get it from us. For real. I don't him say. But you are very, very kind you know, in that, Marie. Him say, Marie, I'm very kind. From, come, come, come see you, I do this, and see you, I do that, and whatnot. Roger, sometimes I go up on the road, you know, sometimes I have to say, boy, I'm going to do my quota for the day. But I see me, the other day, I'm going, I'm going to one little um, health food store right at the corner, and silver slipper, and I, and I eat. And this man come up. And Roger, good Allah, all of him tell me, you know. But I listen to him story, and him say, a country him come from, and him need bus here. I say, no, how you reach at this morning? I never remember what I'm telling you, I say, no. I just I say, all right then. But because you know what, I was here to know that him say him need something, and and first him tell me say I look work, him mm. I look garden work, uh-huh. and if me know nobody, me say no me no know nobody, you know, cause you know, cause if you look garden work, and a, and a dung in a silver slipper, you come, you go up in a, the people them uptown neighborhood, cause no 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 garden they don't you know get Well, yeah, be careful you walk in a neighborhood. And I was here to know, me say him say him no know him get to him, and I was here to know raga that him probably go home, and the next thing you know that something befall him. And maybe I say, yeah, I said, you know the man that did, did touch me today? Yeah. And you know my thing again, you see, Raga, is I believe in the Bible. I'm not very, very overly religious, mm-hmm. but I believe in the Bible that them say sometimes, you see, you never know when an angel or somebody going to touch your life. Mm-hmm. And you don't know. Because Jesus said, him did come and ask you for food and you never gave him. I must say, when, me did, when Jesus, when he did ask me, I must say, me did come and farm farmer somebody. No, I'm not going to give him a... Give him a you know that favorite word, angry right, to right, my ribs. Right, I'm right. not going to do that. Right. But if I can help in any kind of way, I will. May I you understand know? you? I'm going to touch a rape real quick. Yeah. Raga, rape is see, like, it's, like my email said, nothing senseless or sexual about rape. Mm-hmm. Rape is a crime of violence. Mm-hmm. You understand mm-hmm. me? Mm-hmm. And Raga, you have marital rape. And I'm going to just relate this like a personal experience real quick. And but still, but I'm still with the person. But Raga, the person violated me. And Raga, it hurt. I mean, I'm going to say hurt it. I know where the name hurt it. It hurt it so much, Raga, mm-hmm. that I would not stop until I got an apology from the person. And mm-hmm. when I was saying to the person that you violate me, he must say, oh, I'm violate you. I'm a woman. And he could not understand it. And hear what it was, Raga. It was a power play. I'm going to put my clothes and say, may I go somewhere. And because he did not want me to go. You understand me? Right, you right. Hold me down and do whatever you want. Raga, I, Raga, I gave away the dress. Me give away because I, I never wanted. Cause my dress and everything, you know. Mm-hmm. I Raga, I give away the frock. Cause Raga, me never want to see the frock there again. You understand me? Mm-hmm. Because if you are the something to me and I'm crying through the whole idea because you overpower me, how could that? You understand me? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Raga, that was that 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 was violence, and you know, me, me never they gonna lock up nobody or anything. But the point that I'm trying to make is that. You know, it, um, it, it, it hurt me. You violate mm-hmm. me mm-hmm. In, a, every, in a, every way because I did not want to do that. I didn't want to have, have any part of that. You understand me? So At some point, we have to do that topic because eh? it's a thing where, you know, I say you have Jamaica. No, I say at some point, we have to do some kind of yes. topic on that yes. because, and, you know, I say, well, I, you know, say I have some Jamaica man who yes. talk up things about me, like say some nasty, vile things about yes. me. And when, but usually I don't pay it no mind because mm-hmm. me not care. But it's when somebody like, explain it to me and say, the reason why they must say them thing. I make up story about them see me at this and that, whatever. Mm-hmm. I mean, I pay it no mind. But I, what, what was amazing to me was the reason why they must say them nasty thing mm-hmm. about me. At one point, when we did over, so, I was making a case that it is possible for a husband to rape his wife. It is. And that is why they talk about the things they mm-hmm. Jamaica men cannot grasp that. Right. Right. They can't grasp that. Yeah, the person never grasped it, Raga. And, you know, and, 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 and Raga, I'm every day I'm a talk about it. And it's like he could not come to the understanding. He said, yeah, I'm a woman. Oh, I'm a violator. Oh, I'm this. And Raga, I'm not telling her. I live on it every day. I'm murder it until I get an apology. Yeah. Okay, see. Because so I, I was adamant. I said, you violate me, you violate me, you violate me. You understand me? Mm-hmm. And until, not until he came to the understanding and apologized and said, okay, I'm sorry. Come and say, you make me feel like less than nothing. You make me feel like man and a body. He said, I'm not mean it. I'm going to do that and whatever. And, you know, we sit down and we talk about it. I'm going to show him. 
I'm not talking about this rag guy. It's kind of like a painful still. I like myself. I'm still with a person, you know. But it's still painful because it was a, it, it was something that I didn't want at that time. See, and see. And, you know, and, and we talk about it and stuff. I'm going to show him and say, you know, this is what happened. Raga, immediately, Raga, I hit the shower. Raga, I mean, that's why I, under, I know I understand when people get raped, why they're not supposed to beard, but them beard. Exactly. Because, Raga, you want to... And just keep on a beard. It's a woman in my check for me now. But, Raga, at that point, I never seat at that okay you know okay. all right so um sister peggy call me there's this lady that says she's a little bit down and she needs you to talk to her for pepper up all right, all right then all right then Ed girl right. you take care yeah yeah man blessing mm -hmm. yes ruth we're going to take the break can i read this before we take the break uh, morning raga your topic of the week sell off the lady will try for wrong up august people she lying my born august i'm never take back anything when me give a girl when me left them man, they will take back things. A lion cub, not real Leo. <laughs> we August people are very loving, but we're not put up with foolishness. Big up to you and the new stock family from Trey. And Bella calling and say that, um, well, Bella say we sign him again, you know what? Um, what's it does again? August, him say my August, but he's not like that. Him say him too kind, but he, he does in fact know several August men who are domineering and who are possessive and mean and love something or the other and whatever this and that again. Uh, big up to Winston Bell. You don't know the same show there. 1215 every day. Everything is there. Well, I'll break. We'll soon come back. Welcome back to Ragashanti Live with your host, Miss Cherry Wash Belly, Dr. Ragashanti. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back up in our same thing. The real Jamaican talk show, yeah? I um, want to say enough respect to I am Raga Shanti. I want to say enough respect to Cheryl Gray and Junior Gray who lock in on the program via the internet up there in Canada. Big up to Cheryl and Junior, seeing. And enough respect to them up there and thing. And all our Canada people who are listening to the show, proper thing. Um, email Lord Raga, the show sold out, my youth. You see, the April man, them, they are sweethearts, so loving and kind. Some February man kind so till January man really have to check for you to give you anything. Them say March woman lie and mean. September women are sneaking and them lie. Hmm. September women are sneaking and them lie. Hmm. Scratch, you know. September women are sneaking and them lie. Plus them not give you anything unless them no want it. <laughs> May men are darlings. They will confess. July people, them lie. And August men are abusive. My mother is June born and she's a sweetheart. June women are very kind. To the phone lines we go. Top of the Hello? <laughs> yeah, good, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, I'm calling to tell you that I'm learning all sorts of culture from your radio program. Oh. I've been living here for two years now and every day that I can, I listen to you. That's how I learn all the Patois words. Okay. And I learned everything. I just wanted to say, keep up the good job. You're Why? doing a great job. Thank you so much. Where are you from, if you don't mind me asking? Um, well, I was born in Trinidad, and I grew up in New York. Uh -huh. And I've been in Jamaica now for about two years. Okay. And I tell everybody I learned Patois from the radio station. All right. So between that and just kind of bumming around, I learn everything here. And I just wanted to share saying, you're doing a great job. Well, thank you so much. We're very grateful for that type of feedback. It makes us feel like we're doing something meaningful, you know? Yeah, because sometimes you think you know what's going on and the culture is a little bit different. But right. when I listen to you, right. you know, I learned about the, what, the ghetto oxtail and just, right. you know, And all your unclosed by line and them something, that don't it? Right, so it's it's been good. Keep up the good work. No, and that's okay? the thing, you know. The Jamaican culture can be very deceptive, you know. Particularly yeah. people from working class background, you can think you understand them, but it's way more complex and complicated right. than you think. My first six months here was painful because I would think somebody is saying and doing something, and it's totally different. And they kept saying she are far and she are far, and, uh -huh. and you know it, it was just hard, but. I'm getting better, and I always tell all my expat women friends, I'm like, listen to the radio, listen to the radio. That's where you learn everything. But let me tell so. you something. You see, that um, 
um, confusion in um, understanding. It's not just you as a foreigner, believe it or not. Many people from working class background in particular are, yeah. are totally misunderstood you know, yeah. by others who think that they're smarter, brighter, more intelligent yeah, and but so you, forth. Right, you, know? you have to understand where it's coming from. Exactly. And I've been busy. I worked the elections up in Cassava Peace. Uh -huh. and I, Lord, that was an experience. <laughs> oh, that yeah. was an experience. You really did open at the papa of a piece, real right, ghetto thing. Uh, right, 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 right. <laughs> so listen, listen, I'm going to contact you another time because there's okay. some things I'd like to share with you and maybe, you know, further down the road, I'll call and leave my information. All right, no problem. Um, because there's a project I'm working on that I'd like to kind of include you if I can. Okay, okay wonderful. Okay, great. Oh, do listen, take care. care. You too. Bye -bye. All right, blessings. Oh, quick email. Hi, Raga Raga. Me men are bullies. The man they feel them in charge at all times. I made a mistake by dating one. He wanted to tell me where to go, what to do, and how to do it. He he was also the liar this man in this. Oh, the liar this man in this world. But on top of all that, he was short and he was a soldier. Enough said. <laughs> Please do a program on dating soldiers and you will find out how them lie. Love your program and big up all July. <laughs> big up Lily. <laughs> she had a bad experience with a soldier. And that's it. The all wicked soldier. Top of the morning to you. Hello. Hi, Raga. Hello, yes. Uh-huh. Good to have you back. Wonderful. Thank you. Okay. Um, I born August and uh, trust me, I'm very kind. Uh -huh. I'm August people is nice. Do you have a terrible temper? Pardon? Do you have a terrible temper? When you get my mad, but uh, otherwise I'm very quiet and nice. Are you do do um do people do, do a lot of people get you mad? Sometimes. Okay, okay. And general man, trust me, it's very nice. They're very nice. Yes, because I have a general man and he's not mean. He would give me the world, anything. Okay, okay. So I think the month don't have anything to do with it. All right then. All right, then straight blessings here. Yeah? Okay, and big up yourself. Okay? Every time, ma'am. Protection. Bye, care. You know what I find? When people are defining the characteristics of the month, Reggie, again, most people are focusing on whether or not you're kind. That says something about the socioeconomics in our country. That is like, the minute I'm going to define what type of person you are, there's so many things, you know, that make up who a person is. Alison, Ruth, Reggie. But most Jamaicans, I find, interestingly, they're focusing on whether or not the person is kind. Who get things and who not get things. Interesting. Here we go. Top of the morning to you. Hello. Yes, Raga. Morning. Yes, sir. I think, ma'am, I don't believe that this month business is not my talk about you, Raga. You see it. But listen, you see, as far as I see it, it's when people beg your things and you don't give them them say I mean, and that other thing. Oh. I'm going to go to February now. And some people say I'm kind, some say I mean, some don't know who to believe. Okay. They come like me, I'm going to drop back now, but I'll talk nothing again. Come yeah. like I'm going to start now. Okay. Because people are not easy nowadays, you know, man. You see it. If you follow them, man, you, you, you sell all yourself more time, man, and your soul and everything. You give her your soul, You're man. Right. And, and you make guilt, make you want to take care of yourself. You're right. That's the thing I tell you, Raga. Because I'm a very kind person. I'm going to give you a lot of things. But they come like me, I'm going to start walking with a pin. And if you're friends, you never give them a pin yet. You might as well walk with a pin. And just go and give everybody a pin, no? All right. All right. Yeah, yeah man. I'm not touching a because I'm too tomorrow now and new people are going to call. So I'm going to try to put them in the come out. Ah, cool, no, man. Every time, man. Every time, man. Every time, man. Every time, man. All right. Cool, no. All right. Well, one minute, Carl Ruth. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Hello. One minute. Hello. Brother. Yeah, we only have a minute here. Yeah, yeah. So talk quick. Yeah, talk quick. Where is it about? Them are about July people are lie. Yeah, man. Where is it? July people are good, some of them. Yeah, so man, I'm glad I'm not going to July, man. And of course, at July, you born, don't That's what I'm saying, man. All right, Papa. Mm -hmm. All right, no, for sure. Which part you hail from? Good day, man. Saint Elizabeth. Which part? Good day, Saint Elizabeth. In a Saint Elizabeth. All right, all Saint Massey bless up here. Yeah, man. Good day, good day, man. All right, you take care. Email, Raga, the month has nothing to do with an individual. An example is if you should take everyone from a specific month, they can never be all the same. That's not realistic. Big up to my favorite, Miss Telma Ruth, and my virgin OJ from over this. Huh? See? People take care of yourself. You don't know. So tomorrow, Raga, run the thing again. Okay. Um, Quick email from... um. Florida. Hello, Rag and the News Talk family. Just to say hi, and I'm still here with you. I am an August person, Leo, and I think I'm very loving. I'm a very loving and kind person. Still enjoying the program, and you continue to do your thing. You are wonderful. That's Yolanda from Port Charlotte up there in Florida. Okay? 
Quick, I get an email. Good morning, Raga. This is Katie and long time listener, but too shy to call. Ruth, big up yourself and special good morning to Reggie. I know you look as good. I know you look just as good as you sound. The show was good on Friday. They did a very good job. February woman is very quiet and give 100% to any relationship, but is mean and very much attached to money. We never have none yet. I know because I am a February woman. All what that lady said about July men are true. My boyfriend born in July and he told me all the time from him meet me, him stop, have enough woman. Apology for the long he made, if it is considered long and thing like that. Anyway, people, take care of yourself. See you tomorrow. You don't know we're juggling from 9 o'clock. See you here. Raga Shanti Live with me, Mr. Cherry Watch Belly. Stay tuned. Allison and DK are coming at you right now to give you a very competent news. DK Ed here plot up in a certain way. I very often see DK with all kind of women with their hands in their head. Quite the charmer he is, you know. You playboy, you. Somebody said today that Reggie is an animal deep down. Arr, what are you, DK? You know what you are, DK? You're like some kind of cat, sneaking, like cheetah or something like so. Yeah, you, look at Gina. Anyway, blessings. <laughs>